Ringworld. Revenge of the Patriarch. You wish to watch the introduction? I do so inclined, yes, I say. Game design, John Javert, Chris Hoyt, and something else. Programmers, Chris Hoyt again, Robert Heitman, and Nancy Churchill. Artists, Jane Cardinal, Dina Krutak, Gary Cock, Lee White, music, Ken Allen. The ring will unknown space created by Larry Niven. Niven, maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm done reading. Is that the introduction? Just credits. Thanks. <gasps> no, here we go. Palace of the Patriarch, Kizinti Homeworld. Puppeteers, the audacity of using Kazine for a genocidal breeding experiment. I shall not live to regret it. I realize that. Now. By your command, Lord Vishka. Centurion Chakra, the hour of our revenge is at hand. Puppeteers and all who have aided them shall pay for their manipulation of the Kizinti Empire. We have openly cooperated with the United Nations of Earth. This coalition has built a vessel powered by the hyperdrive technology revealed to Louis Wu and the traitor Chmeep. The coalition ship will be the fastest vessel in known space, and the fools intend to waste it on peaceful exploration. What they do not know is that we have secretly built a second identical ship. And ours is a ship built for conquest and revenge. You, Centurion Chakra, shall command the Kazinti Hyperdrive 2 Starship Destroyer. It is my honor to wield the claws which will exact your vengeance, my king. Your task is threefold. First, proceed to Wakai Rift, where the traitor Jimmy collaborates with the UN. The Rukla is aid is upon the family. Kimi almost die for their treason. The ground shall run red with the lifeblood of family to me. Secondly, seek out and destroy the puppeteer homeworld. The destroyer has been fitted with a slaver disruptor cannon capable of disintegrating an entire planet. The puppeteer shall pay with their lives for their meddling. I am your strong right arm, Lord Vishka. Finally, return to Wakai Rift and commandeer the Coalition Hyperdrive Craft. The details of your assignment are contained in the info disk which you have been given. Go now and restore the honor of the Empire of Kazin. Uh, that's quiet. That's fast. You sprinted out of my throne. That's a bit weird. Wakai Rift. A major system, 15.3. The transport fights towards Wakai Rift, the site of Coalition Hyperdrive Project, warning a unique past an old friend of Louis Wu named Quinn. Quinn looks over the terrain with the practice eyes of a mercenary. While Booster Peace has allowed his body to remain young in spite of 200 years of soldiering, it is his mind that has kept him alive. Booster Spice. Quinn's thoughts tumble through the tangled web of events which have now overtaken him. Only Louis Wu would send me a... Oh, this is this here. Send me just in case I disappear. Read this info disc and then disappear. Oh. Only he would drop me in the middle of a pack of suspicious Kazinti so I can warn one of them of a danger which may or may not exist. Ah, well. What are friends for? I hope Jimmy is in a hospital mood. I hate to have to use my stunner just to persuade him to give me a hearing. We're all sideways. Thank you for the sub ironclad for 21 months. Everything's bent to the side. Cat people. A rakshasa. Uh, Seems to be a common theme in science fictions. I mean, cat pe people love cats. And then some people love sci-fi Star Trek. Combining those two was, seems like a good idea for a lot of people. 
Hey, nice You're guy. Doing great. Hey, nice guy. Thank you for the nice guy bits of 100. Hey, the hype team has started. Where's our noise? That's my noise for the hype train, because I'm a hype kind of guy. Anyway. Hey, Zimoy, how you doing, Seraphim? Good to see you. We just started up Ringworld, The Revenge of the Patriarch by Larry Niven. Um, so, this is cool, and we're going to get into the video game. But I also have the manual, which has another introduction to it. We're going to read the introduction as well. It's like one of those new doorbell beams. Ah, oh, that seems to... That should do it. Thank you for the uh, 10 bits, I appreciate that. Say your business, human. My name is Quinn, I'm here at the request of Louis Wu to deliver a message to Chimi. What proof of that do you have, human? I have no idea. Look. A combination scanner. Com unit. This is your stunner. Signet ring sent by you by Louis Wu. Pick. My father spoken of the crest of this ring. Louis Wu has indeed sent you. I am Lack Captain, second son of Chimi. My father has been missing for some time. Then I am too late to deliver the warning. Thank you for your time, Lack. Yak Captain. <laughs> Whatever your name is. One moment, Quinn. The family to me would value any information you might have regarding your father. Enter, human. We must talk. Woo wee hoo wee looey woo. Woo wee ho. My name is Woo wee ho. Centurion Sharp go to flight. All within these walls are under Rukla. Let no one escape. What do you know, my father? Not much, I'm afraid. I received a message packet which indicated that Louis Wu had disappeared. Wooey wooey woo. Ooh woo. The packet contained a signet ring, travel pass, and an info disc with several files concerning a trip taken by Louis and Chimie to a place known as the Ringworld. Louis, Louis, who, who cares? I'm here to warn Chimie of the potential threat from whoever is responsible for Wu's disappearance. What should you do for Louis Wu? Oh. Been friends for many years. Let's just say I owe him. I'm a mercenary. I do what people pay me to do. Shall we say Louis or Louis? Chad, what do you think? Louis Wu sounds fun. <laughs> Louis? Because I think like Louis. I think like this. Louis. That's, a f that's that. Wooey. You think Wooey is best? Wooey Woo? Hey! Hey! Wooey Woo! Wooey Woo Woo Woo! Your vote is Louis. Louis? But Lewis, you mean Lewis as Louis or Louis Lewis? Huey Lewis and, and the Lewis News. Uh, like a Louis. Yeah, me too, Louis. We've been friends for many years, I should say I owe him. What do you know of the danger facing my father? Only what's on the disc. Louis Wu's knowledge uh, Louis of the Bringworld and the prototype Hyperdrive 2 ship gave him cause to fear for his safety. I am his insurance policy. My father concerned as well. He believed that by involving family in the prototype project, we would be safe. I'm a test pilot for the prototype. What were the circumstances surrounding your father's disappearance, or it seems to me that working directly on the project only puts you at a greater risk? Second one. Brother! Assassins! Oh, Jesus! Don't look, Chad, it's bloody! Ah! I realize that. Now, 
<laughs> Assassins, I realize that now. Did we die? Actually died. Why is he not wearing pants? I died! Would appear the assassin has succeeded in fulfilling the patriarch's wishes. As a mercenary, perhaps next time you might want to be more forceful. Oh, he just started playing! More forceful, okay. <laughs> Pretty swell, the Kazinti, the Cat Mandu. Thank you, Kirita, for two months. I appreciate that. Say I owe him, that was fine. What's on the disc? Hmm. Has the prototype already this is more forceful. Has the prototype already been flown? Aha! My brother Rock is dead by the Rock La. We must flee or die with him. At least now I know why Louis chose a mercenary as his insurance policy. Dude. So dirty. Huh? He's still stunned. for let's get out of here before the others get their claws into us wait wait is that so he's not orange no but i'm we have a problem no it's true this is the only cycle that contains security disc they may try to follow us in one of the others i'll see what i can do Info this. Can I look at it though? Combination scanner comment. Message. <laughs> By the decree of the Royal Patriarch, Empire of Kazin, His Royal Majesty Vishka of the House of Kree, the centurion known as Chakra is hereby commanded to proceed with the execution of the following decrees, bans, and orders. Article 1. The Rukla is hereby decreed against the family Chimi for traitorous acts against the Empire of Kazin. Land, servants, slaves, as well as any and all properties are henceforth forfeited due to the Empire. To the Empire. Any and all members or relations are to be killed on sight. Article 2. For heinous crimes against the Empire of Kazin, the race known as Pearson's Puppeteers is hereby placed under ban of total extermination. As commander of the Hyperdrive 2 craft destroyer, the Centurion has to proceed at best speed to the location of the Puppeteer fleet of worlds and exterminate all found on those worlds. Article 3. Following the destruction of the fleet of worlds, the Centurion is to proceed to the planet Wakai Rift and commandeer the Coalition Prototype Hyperdrive 2 ship for use and the nucleus of the main battle fleet of the Empire of Kazin.
Winner is you. Should tamper with that bike. Never leave your enemy the means to follow you. Try again. This time, cover your escape more quickly. Anything else? Like a large statue of Kazinti, Great Fang God. See an emerald from Kazin. Kick it. Hmm. Do do do. Debba 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 debba. Put it in slave. But he could he could press those buttons too. Set the cycle as a slave. I don't know what setting it as a slave means. Fly cycle. Flycycle. <laughs> it's a flycycle, sir. What other things are there? Assume resource savers are okay. I mean, I put one as the slave. Can't put this as the master. Can put this as the slave, but uh... so we need an info this to make it run. But now that's okay. But how would that change anything? Well, I thought you were resourceful. I'm working on it. Hurry. Get a branch. Can I go here? No. Hey, Marto. Okay, the track is not growing. Less on me. For good reasons. Gonna probably die if I go here. Didn't die, but they shooting from the window. Yeah, brother lies dead. Infinite can stunner. Can't do anything with the brother. He is still dead. That's true. He just looks. He's unfortunately still dead. He might wake up later, but for now, he's dead. So. Put one in slave, is that what I can do? So that's just like checking information. Flaxers are made of a crystalline more rock than walls. There's not much more to interact with. And then putting one into slave and one into not slave. To a newt. This is my info disc thing. This is the master, and the other one's a slave. Do 
So now this is the master. Cyclops the master. And the other one was set to slay, right? So can we go now? What does this change? Anything? Apparently that worked. I don't know why that worked. <laughs> oh, so the car will just follow me. That's probably some ring world lore. So the flycicle will move on its own to the master is probably what that meant. I can say, I'll take care of the guard, or you'd better handle this, yak captain. I mean, it's his kind of guy, right? You better handle this, yak captain. That would be the best. Good day, yak captain. There are no flights scheduled for today. Please state your business. We brought a flight cycle for the engineers. Some sort of malfunction with the drive unit. We should drop it off at the hangar and be on our way. Very well, yeah, Captain. Please let us know when you leave the facility. I shall be certain you are aware of our departure. I shall indeed. We shall disable the containment field and then use the extra cycle to crash through the hangar door. Intruder alert. Follow me into the ship. If we can close in the hatch before the too late, Liac. Two of them are right behind us. You stunned them. I will secure the hatch. This escalates quickly. This is a this is a game that moves. This is a game that moves. Wait, is that guy already got? He's he's on to me. Is that a guy? Get, he's does he get us? Yep. It's time to stun Captain. I was just curious. Hey, Cartoon. You just smashed the patriarchy. You know, being smashed twice. The guards don't take any chances. They always shoot first and ask questions later. Not a bad policy for a man on the run. Maybe the next time you should try it. Here! Well done, well done, Quinn. You dispose of the guards when I get us into orbit. But meet me on the bridge as soon as you're finished. We must leave orbit immediately. Planetary defense forces will be quick to react. You're the pilot. What brain has idiot powered up the ship? I'm up to my elbows in plasma flow regulators and the circuits go live! I could have lost an... Yeah, Captain. What do you think you're doing? Have you lost your feline mind? DC. Let's just say we're practicing emergency egress procedures. Who the tens are you? Name's Quinn and you're... Ah, she's Miranda Rees, Chief. Chief Engineer for the Hyperdrive 2 Project. Now stop your babble. I must activate the Hyperdrive. Activate the Hyperdrive? Planetary Defense? You're stealing this ship! This is Planetary Defense Force Flight Leader. You have no flight authorization codes. Power down immediately and prepare to be boarded. It's Centurion Chakra, Command the Royal Kazeed Starship Destroyer. You survived my attack on your home, yeah, Captain. Should not escape me again. You are still in the rock line. This game goes fast. Prepare to die. Not today, Centurion. We shall meet again. When we do, it's you who shall die. There's a good lip flaps. Traitorous monkey lover! Quinn, where's Miranda? She's not to be trusted until she knows the truth of our situation. Uh, I'll find her. Oh shit, Miranda. What are you doing? 
Stop, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to keep tearing the ship apart until you turn us around. By the time I'm finished, rowboats could catch us. Um, listen to me. Talk all you like, I'm not stopping. Stop, Miranda, you don't know what you're doing. I know I'm keeping you from taking the ship. The only way you'll stop me is to stun me senseless. So either turn the ship around, use that stun, or put it away and let me finish tearing the guts out of this hyperdrive. I can make a choice. Another choice. We need many saves. This game is crazy. I don't want to do it. See no response. Stand aside, Quinn. She has done enough damage. Sorry, she was disconnecting fibers in the hyperdrive control circuit. I think I can. I think I can put it back together. I certainly hope so. I'll take Miranda to the auto dock. When you are finished with the repairs, meet me there and we shall decide what to do with them. Let me see. I think the fiber optic LED layout color key was on page 9 of that manual I haven't looked at yet. Shorty, thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate it. Um, okay. Speaking of manual, oh, oh, it's, oh, he's it's, it's reading now. He was on page nine of that manual. Speaking of manual, I was going to read the, uh, the story. There's more to the introduction in the manual of Ringworld. No, this is Return to Ringworld. Sorry. Um. <laughs> uh, hang on, einen Minute, einen Minuten bitte. That's the game two. There's two of them. Ring world, ring world, ring world, ring. Rim world, rim tricks, rings of Zilfin, rings of ring. Revenge of the Patriarch. Ah, this is the one. Uses manual. There's probably a story in here too. To so play Ring uh, World Revenge, you may encounter puzzles that you consider insurmountable. Don't despair. Hints on all tsunami games are available 24 hours a day by calling 900 903 Wave 9283. Call to this number not free. You will be charged 80 bucks, 80 cents per minute for each minute of the call. Calls under 18 years of age must have the permission of a parent or guardian to call this number. Game hints are solely, solely, solely. Solely the responsibility of Tsunami Media. They're solely, foley. It, it's solely, right? Not solely. Okay. Um. Here's the history. The history. It has been an era of peaceful cooperation between humans and Kazinti. The man Kazin wars are little more than a rapidly fading memory to most humans and even a few Kazinti. Twenty years have elapsed since the human Louis Wu and the Kazin, speaker to animals, returned from the ring world. The journey is still a great secret to all, but the most highly placed in the UN and Kazinti patriarchy. The technology that the puppeteers revealed to Wu and Speaker has resulted in major collaboration between Earth and Kazin to produce the fastest ship known to either of their species, the Hyperdrive 2. Technology, however, is not all that Speaker and Wu brought back from their trip to the Ringworld. They also possessed knowledge that the puppeteers had involved both humans and Kazinti in a breeding experiment of unheard proportion. Humans were bred for luck, and Kazin were culled for passivity. Passivity. The UN reaction has been heightening of internal scrutiny of affairs within their domain. After all, a lucky humanity was quite possibly a good thing. 
The Cassine response has been a bit more negative, as the puppeteer's covert actions have resulted in the deaths of generations of hot-tempered warriors during the Manzine, Mancazine Wars. The Patriarch was outraged, his desire for revenge nearly overwhelming. But the puppeteers have failed badly in their attempt to pacify the Cassinti. Far from breeding a more passive Cassine, they have produced a species even more cunning and dangerous instead of immediately lashing out as the Cassine from the era prior to man Cassine wars. Which would surely have done. The Patriarch seems the Patriarch plans the revenge of, revenge of the Cassinti with great care and secrecy. The Empire of Cassine has worked with the UN on the Hyperdrive 2 project with the ulterior motive of building a second, nearly identical ship. The differences are solely there we go. There they made it. In armament, the Gazinti vessel, among its weapons, mounts a massive slaver disruptor cannon capable of disintegrating an entire planet. The UN ship is completely unarmed. That is that. It's an interactive story game. You control the actions of one of the major characters in the story. In Ringworld, you play a human mercenary named Quinn. As you play, you will control Quinn's decisions and actions. Various obstacles are placed in Quinn's path, and you must determine the best course of action to surmount them. Judgment and wits are directly responsible for moving the story along. All right, so that's the yeah, we got. We got this. Okay. You will see a good deal of walking. Nice. That's always a good one in the game. It's like, you will undoubtedly spend a good deal of walking. Awesome. Hope you enjoy walking. Did any of you all call these numbers in the 90s? You did once during a sleepover looking for cheats for SNES Lion King. Awesome. I never did, no. I th uh, but it's also because we're in Norway, so the lines weren't really easily available either. This says, uh, page 9 in the manual, I haven't looked at yet. Does it actually mean the manual of the game? That could be cool. Page 9. Definitely not. No, yes, it does. Look at that. Green, yellow, blue, orange, red. Ha! Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? Orange, yellow, no, oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 green, yellow, blue. Eh. Orange, red, eh. green, yellow, blue, there. I know how to do it. Hey, cat. Hey, Iggy. How you doing? you will never get away with this. You'll have an entire arm and Kazinti Empire chasing you down. Being hunted by the arm is nothing new to me, but believe me, I'm not eager to have the Kazinti Empire off my hide. The Patriarch has gone mad. He intends to obliterate the puppeteer's fleet of worlds. There's a death sentence on the Yak Captain. Look at that. Proof, you idiots! I want proof of what you say! It's time to put up or shut up! Otherwise, you'd be able to leave me here. Because as soon as I got loose, I'll disable this ship. You know me, Miranda. I'm no thief. You must listen to what this human and I have to say. Give it up, Captain. I didn't think a Kazine was capable of lying, but unless you have proof, I'm not interested in having either of you have to say. Well, Quinn, what do we do now? We have to go get her on our side. We need to show her some proof. I can't read today. I'll have my coffee soon, don't worry. Jettison her. Bing! It's unlikely you'll be able to operate this. Bing, bing. 
hitting her won't help. Miranda's the problem. Don't start anything with Yak. Ayak. I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Yak. The, the tail just doesn't fit. Look at his superb glutes. And suddenly, like, pink tail. Bang! Bam! Rat tail. Exactly. It's a little low, too. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of, there's not much room for exit anymore. Well, can I leave this place? So I gotta get her to cooperate. Save your breath. I don't know you and I don't trust you. I don't have anything to show, do you? I'll take a look. I mean, I got this info disc. This is impossible. The Patriarch would never attempt such a thing. That's the Patriarch's seal on the document. Royal seals can't be faked. Then it's true. The Patriarch is crazy. Pledge on your honor that you will not attempt to sabotage or impede us in any way, and we shall release you. Impede you? I want to help you. Okay, I guess. So where are we going with this? Later. Then we have to assume the destroyer might reach the fleet of worlds ahead of us and since they aren't chasing us. As things stand, we can't overtake the destroyer because our drives are identical. Any suggestions, Quinn? Yak Captain? From this moment forward, I'm no longer Yak Captain. I renounce the name given to me by a patriarch who has dishonored his people. I am now Seeker of Vengeance, which sounds fucking cool and awesome. I shall earn a new name from a patriarch worthy of bestowing such honor upon his servants. This ship, which carries us, shall be called the Lance of Truth. Honor requires that we find the means to overtake and capture Destroyer. A goose. A double goose. Oh, Lord, what is that? A uh, Pearson's puppeteer, or at least a hologram of one. I am hindmost. The puppeteers require your assistance. It will be most wise of you to listen carefully to what I have to say. We have been monitoring you since your rather hasty departure from Wakai Rift. I would hazard a guess that the Kazinti will be very interested in your current location. In exchange for your help, we will refrain from the providing the Kazinti with your location. What do you want from us, Grass Eater? There are certain items on the Ringworld which we would very much like to see. You will proceed to the coordinates I shall give you. Retrieve the items and bring them to the fleet of worlds. I think you're shy a couple of puzzle pieces, pal. I do not understand. Even if we do go to the ring world and get your items, it is very likely that there will be a fleet of worlds to deliver them to. We not be. The Kazinti Patriarch has sent a warship named Destroyer to obliterate your precious fleet of worlds. Then we shall add the destruction of that ship to your tasks as well. In exchange, we will help you find Louis Wu and Chumi. They are somewhere on the ring world. Should you fail in any of these tasks, I can assure you the puppeteers will deal most severely with you and the remainder of your species. You ask a great deal and offer little in return. You must guarantee that the rock law against us is lifted and that the Patriarch Vishka will be deposed. Then we will help you. 
Agreed. Be quick about your tasks. I have much to do to prepare the, for the destroyer should you fail. Hang on a second. According to the information Wu left me, this ring world is no place to fool around with. We could all be killed. That is true. You may very well pay with your lives. I managed to stay alive a long time by being very careful about when and where I make my stands. The choice is yours. Die at the hands of the Kazindi or live by your wits and the whims of fate on the ring world. I guess our choice is pretty obvious. Whose files do indicate the presence of quite a bit of advanced technology on the ring world. That's probably what the puppeteers are after. Those two-headed freaks do have a fondness for shiny new technology. I'll bet my socks that whatever the puppeteers are after will also be very useful in dealing with the destroyer. The ring world remains at the center of all of this. It's the only common link between Wu, my father, and these prototype ships. We also know that Wu and Chimmy are somewhere on the ring world. Assuming the puppeteer was telling the truth, I shall set our course for the ring world. This thing is huge! Can you what? Seeker, the deep space scanner indicates unusual contacts. There are several contacts in close proximity. If you can call several thousand miles apart, close. On screen. Stasis fuel reflections. Look at a reading of the largest contact. It could be a starship. And data, data does indicate sufficient mass. It's Jimmy, Mario. Do the Mario! The wall, the ring is in, it's incredible. There's not a lot of time to read chat, okay? It's the wall of the ring which prevents the atmosphere from escaping. That would explain the tremendous size. Sensors indicate the approach of a projecting ledge. It must be a, sp a sponge of fungus. I should find a landing area near the inner edge of the spaceport. We'll set down the ladder of whatever the fuck. Inconsistent texts on screen for this game. For time. That seems a problem. Game is gorgeous, though. I gotta say, game is gorgeous. Hey, Walker Bo. I'm gonna read chat soon. Everybody in chat, I'm kind of, I'm coming for you. We shall use the lander for exploration of the surface. The land should be safe here. Look at that. It's Shredder's bubble. What is it called? Shredder Dome. Technodrome. Shredder's Technodrome. Boop it will. Wow. Ooh, that band. I suggest we use the God Gambit approach on these primitives. Little fear may well work to our advantage. Worked well enough for my father and Louis Wu on here on the first visit. So, who gets to play God? Hopefully, these particular vidges have never seen a cuisine. Look at her butt. Let's give it a shot. After you, Sky God.
Ooh. I like the track, man. These villages are enormous. I hope this Sky God's charade works. If the guard gamut fails, we can always use our stunners. I am the Sky God, seeker of vengeance, sent to see if you are worthy of the God's continued sufferance. The mother of the Sky Gods had tested you. She dropped the silver egg down from the sky for you to care for. Moloch, Tlok, Silver, Glock, Sky Mother, Kip. This is good. I will look upon the Sky Mother's egg, I guess. The fuck did you say? Sharkla, devil from the far arc. Has a devil with many fangs and claws. People in the canyon are afraid of this screaming devil. This devil was sent to test your courage. Take us to see the Sky Mother's egg and I will capture the screaming devil. Go and capture the devil first. Ease affairs of the people in the canyon. Take me to the place where the screams of the devil are heard. The Sky Silver wants for your return. Until then, only the Ula Kahala Kukoka may gaze upon it. We wish to see the Sky Silver. Only the Ula Kukaba, the Tortellinis, can grant permission. We'll then take us to speak with the Tortellini oligarch. oligarch. Oh, I've tried to actually pause the game. For first and fathers and sons, the piece of people in the canyon have kept the sick eyes of a sacred. I can't pause. Chat, we can't. We can't stop. I bring you greetings from the sky mother, Ola Kagak. Ola Olachigak. I'm called Quinn. This is Miranda, who also serves. Please us to examine the sky silver. This one has been charged never to let anyone enter the presence of the sacred sky silver, unless they know the secret of the deck. Why does he have... Palm trees for decoration. If we can finally pause. Woo! Yeah, this is a Hideo Kojima game. Hey, chat, how you doing? How you doing, chat? I missed you. Hey, sex man. <laughs> hey, spork. That's no tail, just overgrown tapeworm. Ooh. Yeah, three hour YouTube documentary. It's, it's, a, it's cool, though. And it looks nice. Is that a kill Rafi? Hey, hey, Strider. How you doing? We're playing Ring World. A uh, novel game by Larry Niven or Niven. Cat guy needed to be voiced by Michael Dorn. Ooh, that could be cool. Yeah, poor man's Riker. Our main guy, Quinn. Man. You should get tortellinis. If I get tortellinis on the store, from the store, I never get tortellinis with meat. Any sort of meat. Chicken or pork. It's not It's not good because store-bought tortellinis, they, the preserves and the kind of fucking meat they have in those tortellinis, ugh, bad. So I always go with spinach and cheese or like four cheese or something like that. Still like a poor man's meal, but I don't mind it. It's cheap and every now and then it's chill. Pasta is good in so many forms. It doesn't really matter. You heard a lot of bad things about this one. I think it's pretty neat. It's very... A movie, though. But it looks gorgeous. It's 1992, remember? It looks gorgeous for 92. It's very mid. This game or tortellines with pork or chicken? You are the holder of the secret? I got it with my life. The secret is kept in the Holy of Holies. My butt. The secret of the tech is what makes this a holy place. Bye, I guess. One hopes to Ola Chagak was some, some help to the Sky Gods. This one will now try to serve the Sky Gods. Meet with us. We wish to learn of your people. Please come to this one's humble dwelling place. 
would like to share strong drink with you, but regrettably, it is not the season. We would be honored to drink with you. Rock that safeguards his people. Perhaps later I can find strong drink suitable for men to share. Rock that safeguards his drink. This one would be most pleased if that were so. I think you're getting the hang of this sky god business, Quinn. Politics, Miranda. You just need to know who's palm to grease. And who's tits to squeeze. Ooh. Talk about tits to squeeze. This guy's a bit... Buff. Yeah, this game is charming as hell. I will punch you. What? <laughs> Only light in the room comes from the lamp fire. Seems to be a mortar and pestle, an ancient tool for a grinding. It's nearly identical to ones you've seen in museums on Earth. It's Miranda. It's Rock Dad Safeguards, his people. That's his whole name, okay. That's okay, so that's why that sentence was weird. I thought his name was Rock Dad. Now but his full name is Rock Dad Safeguards, his people. So R T S H P. So <laughs> Hey Would you like to have a drink later? <laughs> No, you gotta go, you gotta go on your treadmill again, Shorty. You can beat him with speed. Water must be pretty scarce around here, so it's possible the chief has the only well in the village. Ooh. I would like to dance in the wells, thank you. This one hopes that you will treat his dwelling as your own. Sky God Kuin and Sky God Servant Muranda. Your hospitality is a true gift. What can you tell us of the Sky Silver? It was sent generations ago and is guarded by the tech. Our priest Olachagak holds the secret of the tech. Or Olachagak, I don't know. Who cares? It's a fucking mystery. It's a sci-fi mystery. Olachagak, Olakagak, Olagachaga, Olagacha game. Olachagalakadak. Stun him. Then look at me, Skyon. I'm just see who also serves, remember? Now listen to me, Angel Drawers. You've got one last chance. Surely a Skycode has no use for such a thing. For ladders? Hey, 8 Big Gamers, thank you for the 13 months. There's something nice about this song. You have no way to carry the fire around. This is Rock That Safeguards, this people's home. No, I was looking at spear. What do I do, do? There is no place for a sky gun. Alright. 
Can you arrange for us to see the Holy of Holies? This is one regrets that it cannot be done. Only the priest of Lachagak may enter the Holy of Holies. Rock that safeguards his people has prayed that Ku In will find the strong drink. The season for it is long away, and this one misses the drink. Can't talk to myself. You receive no response. Oh no, I'm doomed. Jars are made from clay, but we hold wine and other storable items. Large, nasty looking skull from some carnivore. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, he's a regular old dude. <laughs> Can't go there again. What else could we be doing? And there's a fire, right? No way to carry it around. Okay, I don't, I don't want to pick up the, the jars. These old-fashioned drug implements are of no use to you. I'm thinking about picking it up or just using something. There's no more dialogue. We have a stunner book and a hollow disc, but we need to use the hollow disc on things. We can talk to him, we can talk to her. We've done that. The water. Can't use the water. Can't go into water. Only well in the city. <sighs> if you put out the lights, do you want to put out the light? Spoken, stun the light. <laughs> I mean, come on! Is there some sort of small pixel area? Mortar and pestle. With drug stuff in it. I can't walk down here, no. I can! Okay, there we go. I just need to find the right angle. I would like to see the sky silver. It's not permitted. Only the old Nachaga may take you there. Orange text. Do you guard the sky silver? I watch for dangers which threaten the people of the canyon. The tech guard for the sky silver. Or was that actually him? The, uh... Seek revengeance because he left now. Because that's orange text. We know orange text to be that guy. No. Hey, Kim Stockholm, how you doing? Much more effective utensils back on board the ship. Clay pants. An idol of some sort. And the chamber where the priest stays. Quiet, the priest seems to be napping. Okay, good. You're not permitted in the Holy of Holies. Sorry. He's napping again. You want to talk? Hola, Jagak, we... We seek your assistance. 
My meditation time I can wait. How may this one serve you? Show us this tech that we may study it and reveal to you its secrets. Okay. Here is the tech which was given to the guard of the silver the sky silver. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Show me its secrets and the sky silver shall be revealed to you. It's a simple force feed regulator. Obviously, we need to know the proper key sequence to deactivate it. Use your info, Majengas. Simple force field. Is it another clue that should be looked in the manual? Hey, Stampede. There's two Ringworld games, apparently. Little blue! So, we had this. Why is it... Oh, this is yellow. Okay, so... Orange, red. This was the clue to that thing. Could there be another clue to the other puzzle in the manual then? Just as the orange, yellow, 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 blue, red, orange, yellow, blue. anywhere no even after installing high mem I don't have five and nine th the thousand bytes free. Since Ringworld Revenge of the Patriarch requires 590,000 bytes of free RAM, you must free up some of your memory by removing some of the programs called Termate and State Res Resident programs, TSRs for short, which are loaded by DOS each time you start your machine, optimizing your system. Freeing conventional memory in your DOS manual for the proper procedures for removing these programs. Oh god, we're gonna remove memory programs. I have MS Windows in the Pro Audio Spectrum. Sometimes when I play Ringworld Revenge of the Patriarch, the volume level is too soft, even when set at maximum. Oh my god, I don't. I don't know if there's a clue here for this one. Oh yeah, so a lot of the times, the usual thing is for music, Dead Seraphim, is that the basic one that seems to always work is Sound Blaster. And it's also quite iconic because Sound Blaster is like the basic thing that most people had. So it usually works off the bat as well without any changes. Emulate's pretty normal. And is what people mostly uh, are comfortable with. There's all, a lot of times like a Roland MT32. Sound canvas stuff, different MIDI devices. The, the thing is it also depends on the game if it's if the game has properly made their MIDI tracks towards that kind of MIDI device as well. So sometimes you change that MIDI device if it's not configured correctly either. It just sounds like bubkis. But for this one, I don't know if I could check in the beginning, but there's probably some things I could ch change. This is running on ScumVM. I should actually change it from DOS to ScumVM, but yeah, it's, it's fine. Hmm. You are not holding a peg. A 
sun. Is there some sort of logic to this one? Because <laughs> I couldn't use the uh, info on that. For it. What is it? Unlike earth plants for a similar climate. Going back to the land, are you coming? Why not? I'm not accomplishing anything here. The chief asked me for a strong drink. If I could find him a jug of Voltairian moonshine, we might be able to get him to help us. If nothing else, it might knock him out for a few hours. See what you can find. I need to run some diagnostics. A lot of times when I watch a DOS game being played with Roland, it sounds off to me. It sounds good, but different. Yeah, it just can be configured in many ways as well. So that's why I just usually just... It's simpler for me to use a sound blaster, and usually people are kind of acquainted with that. And also, sound blaster MIDI... Sounds very nostalgic, I think, for a lot of people. So meanwhile, it might not sound like the best. Maybe it sounds cozy. And I sure think so, a lot of the times. Well, it sounds exactly like Sega Genesis music because of the reason why it uses the sound chip. The YM2612 chip, which is the same for a lot of uh, DOS games. So the Sega Genesis uses the same sound chip that is made for a lot of these sound chips for computers as well. I'm not really sure what I'm talking about at this point. I just know that there's a reason why a lot of Genesis things sounds the same as like other PC stuff. Because some of them use the same chip, the same sound device. There's other, also other YM chips. Concise encyclopedia, list of subjects. Arm, amalgamation of regional militia. Bandersnatch, booster spice. Subject. Core of the Milky Way galaxy is thought to be exploding outward. At the front of the explosion, coding about 20,000 light years from space. beep beep beep, beep. I like that the arrow falls us all the way. We're looking to find out anything about the uh, puzzle solving thing, though. Grog. <laughs> a member of a sentient telepathic species, Grogs, native to the planet Down. Grogs experience two distinct life stages. The first, our immature stage, is similar for both males and females. Upon reaching adulthood, females enter the second or sessile life phase, at which time they attach themselves to rocks and enlarge, attain them sentience and powerful telepathic abilities and become incapable of movement. In this state, they may live several centuries using their telepathic powers to attract food. Males do not attain sentience and are not telepathic. Although the Cassinti controlled down until the end of the first man cuisine war, they did not suspect either the intelligence or the telepathic abilities of the Grogs in this sessile phase. In the mid-27th century, 200 years after Down had been liberated from the Cassinti, Grogs opened communication with humans. Since that time, they have emigrated to many human worlds, aided by specialized equipment that provides protection from ultraviolet radiation and provides for other unique grog needs. 
Krogs have been friendly and cooperative with humans, and although they possess the most powerful telepathic powers in known space, they have not, as far as is known, used those powers to manipulate other sentient beings. Some humans still believe that Grogs are as dangerous as Thrinton and are in fact exerting telepathic control of known space even now. Most experts disagree, showing evidence that the telepathic control of a single sessile Grog does not extend very far from the individual Grog and that their power does not gain from being combined with that of others from their other species. References. Nothing. As a person that doesn't know nothing, I accept. Good. And let's keep spreading that information. I heard from this guy, he's like a YM2612 chip that's like something to do with the Sega and that one. He said that, and he has people watching him for a living. Oh, that must be true. All right, we're going to spread those news as well. This guy loves his Ks. Uh, Larry Niven loves Ks. Kazanol, Kazin, Kedatlino, Man Kazin Wars, Kazin Kazakas, Kazongas. Ks are mysterious and magical. Dolphin. Fucking robot arm dolphin. Cetacea, Orontochetti, Delphinidae. A large brain dingus. right act. No, it's fine. This is a bandersnatch. It's also a butt of a hu it's a human butt. Look at that. It's a nice butt. Everything you know is from years of LGR. Yeah, I used to watch well, I still watch a lot of LGR. It's the butt creature. Same thing, okay. Hatch is locked. It's a bandersnatch. Caked up. <laughs> that emote is begging to be handled by Twitch. You know Twitch absolutely hates any emote that looks like butt. It's always dangerous. I never do it. I would never do it. I've seen too many people posting on Twitter that their emote got removed and now they're like emote limited to changing stuff. And yet people still do the butts. Stop. This is the food replicator. Well, I want grog. Ale. Does not do not operate heavy machinery. Synthetic beer, nothing quite like it. Take the bottle and put it in your belt pouch. Okay, so now I have some ale. I guess that can be a starter, but we need to figure out how to deal with the... Look at those. Ooh, look at me. The pressure is bulky and very uncomfortable. Only fits Miranda. Take it off. I believe to be out of the pressure suit. Yeah, no more pressure. Portable medical kit. Yeah, I have the medical kit now. You tried to make a GIF emote of a friend with my mind dancing, got blocked from uploading multiples due to Twitch thinking it was a gasm emote. Yeah. It's, it's weird though. It usually just happens when they get reports and then suddenly they look at it. Wait, what's going on now? There, somebody pressed.
The Triforce. Ganon must be him. Must be here. There's many places to go to. I wonder if a lot of these have absolutely nothing to do with anything. Oh, that is my quarters, I see. I need to go to the auto dock if you're injured. So this is more of the living quarters. Getting food and surviving. And the airlock thing to go outside. Same computer as usual. Yeah, so it was like the force field generator, and we have to set that thing up. No idea yet. I fought Galactic Core Explosion. Hyperwave Kidatlino. This is just information from the uh, book. Booster Spice, he mentioned in the beginning. He used Booster Spice, keeps him alive, keeps him going. But I have the bear. Ah. Voice crack. Ah. I have the bear, chat. Picked up some ale from the food replicator. I'm ready to return to the village whenever you are. I guess we're ready to return. But first, save. Come on, Miranda. Take you have what we need. Right behind you. The book that inspired this game inspired Halo. Oh, really? Ah, hey, Doc. How you doing? Dr. CDCS in chat. Hey, uh, you had a butt emote and removed it as a precaution. Good idea. I brought you a gift. It's a strong drink from a faraway land. My dwelling is yours. Please enter. Tradition demands that this one offer a gift in return. Sky God servant Muran Dar shall have share a strong drink with me. I have a special gift for you, Sky God Queen. Daughter! Come here. Yes, father. Chalacha, this is Sky God Kuin. He is to receive Grishatra to affirm the relationship between the Sky Gods and our people. This one would be honored. Go and bring honor to our people, daughter. Twerk a little bit. This lowly one is anticipating Rishatra with great joy. Because you backed out on the wedding two years As am I. It. it will give this one great status. She will have her pick of the young men and husbands after Rishatra with a god. The Rishatra will be all the more meaningful between us, Galacha. It's very warm here by the fire. Would you like to take your clothes off? Oh, the sacrifices I make. Sleep now, gazpacho. Now I can try to find a way past the tech force field. He just had sex. Thank you for giving gifts up to Dr. CDCS, Dragoon Zero. Thank you so much. Dragoon Zero with the... Ow! A sub in your face. Thank you so much. How am I liking this game? You played through it twice, for some reason. Well, we saw the reason just now, didn't we? The roof would cave in if you removed the posts. I didn't... Well, I didn't mean to. Look at the lighting on that. Orange. Look at that. That's some shading and or lighting. That's some strong light.
cooking tools. Much more effective utensils back on the board of the ship. But what about the pests and mortars? We want that too. Churn is the same ancient utensil as was used on Earth a thousand years ago. Bowl of greases in the spoon, probably for basting the pig. Basting, basting. Basta! This is the kitchen where Shalacha has been preparing a meal. Cooking pans. Pretty big bowls, but then there are pretty big people. <laughs> kitchen where Chalacha has been preparing a meal. Chief's daughter, Chalacha Changis. You don't want to wake her. I guess I'm just leaving. Nope. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, video game. Didn't check for that area, did you? Well, okay, we did find the exit. But from the right. Oh, look. They should keep him out for quite a while. I knew old Terra Nail was strong stuff, but the chief looks to you like you hit him over the head. Count your blessings. At least he's not going to be getting in our way. You better look around and see if there's anything in here you might need. Get moving, Quinn. We don't know how long the chief will be out. I got the ladder in my pocket. Whoa! 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 Hey, Sid, how you doing? Good to see you again. Hope life is a little bit more chillax. We get going. Going good. Find a way to get to the stasis box. It's the stasis box. I don't know about no stasis box. This looks like an entrance. Things are finally on the up and up, and I've been not feeling as rough physically. That's awesome. Good to hear that. Not. It's my sacred trust. Poopy pants. I guess I used the ladder to get to the sacred box somewhere. But where do I want to use the ladder? Your cat sitting a 20 year old cat? That must be cozy. You're like, yeah. You wanna play? I don't wanna play. If you wanna play, let me sit here. You dangle some shit in front of my face. I'll just tap at it for like five times. I'm gonna fucking stay. And you bring me catnip, okay? Maybe not catnip, actually something... You know what, just fucking... Do you got a steak? I'm done. <laughs> no, don't put it back, you dingus. So she says there's a... Um, find a way to get the stasis box. The thing is, I didn't even notice a stasis box yet. Can I use the ladder anywhere? <laughs> well, yes, but no. Good little land, still a great hunter. Nice, he gotta fly. Like, yeah, I gotta fly. Hey, look. Yeah, so, yeah, I know it was dead when I got it. 
So what? I got a fly. I hunted the fly. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I demand respect. I've been here forever. Man, I should go live in Japan where they respect the elders. Fuck you guys. I'm making my own story up. Don't worry. Yeah, it's a very good Kirk-style diplomacy, you know, isn't it? Well, we have just have sex with this new species. Well, well. You've heard much about Ringworld? I have not. We're watching the game now, though. Of the book. Based game. Book. Niven. <laughs> Climb into the well. What? This? Where's the stasis box? You talk about the stasis box. Do we need to solve this one? But I don't know it yet. I haven't been given any idea of what it is. I don't know if I can use logical reasoning here either. Miss the moon and the earth is like a thing. But the star and the sun... Sun in the middle and the star in the bottom and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Not permitted. I mean, he leaves, but I can't go there. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? I don't really know where we want to. Where do we want to go? Boo. I feel like real world the humans would react that way too, like diplomacy. Please walk into my diplomacy chamber. Pants or whatever the alien equivalent of pants are are not required. <laughs> diplomacy chamber. Uh, the little diplomacy chamber of drinks, games, and sex. I mean, if we can chill, if we have a vibe, it's gonna be good, you know. You were you was breaking in the game, and you're playing as Golem. But that that squeaky thought my game had crashed. <laughs> But the only Golem EXE crashed, don't worry about it. Only I crashed. S come on! Silver, quit fooling around and find a way to get to the stasis box. The stasis box. Sure, it's not on our ship. And this guy just wakes up. No, 
No, he just goes up there. We might just have to figure out the force field thing first, and then the stasis boxes other side, and then we have to use the ladder to get there. But I try to understand using my infomercial thing to see what I can do, but I didn't find any information on it. Hey, Dr. Meyer. If everyone is down for it, it's not such a bad approach to interconnected relations. I mean, if you think about it, like, we have... There's not a lot we have in common. But probably, like, reproducing in that, it may it be. So that's a giant sign of, we can... This is okay. This is not killing! This is the opposite of killing. This is a way to create bonds. Gifts also work, though. <laughs> I feel like I need to figure out the force field generator thing. <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing? You bring your fly cycle out. Too bad you don't have time to take it out for a spin right now. Fly cycle, fly cycle. It flies around, it cycles around, it does it all the time. Fly cycle, fly cycle. I want to ride my flycycle. I want to ride my flyke. <laughs> flyke. I see better than We might just check out a guy. I'm lost. No, you look cute. Yeah, it's like, she tells us for some reason that we should get to the stasis box. I have not discovered a stasis box yet. I've gotten a ladder, which is probably for finding a way to get to the stasis box, but I think she jumped the gun where we should probably get the force field generator puzzle out first. Main command center. Can I use distance then? Pilot controls. If you finally make it out to the stars, and we find it far more loving and kind than all the things we fared and dropped up. Imagine. I mean, we've lost... I mean, we're not looking too good in general. The infighting. Even with so much... If you look at it, like... So much technology. So much progress. And we just absolutely hate each other. And make us... There's no reason for all the hate. People do it because they, they have no idea what to do with their lives. So they just decide to hate instead of living their life. In harmony and peace. Like, the only reason for that is people just want, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
I don't want him to be happy. I don't want to fuck you. Fuck you. Peg me. Put the ladder on it. No, go away, ladder. I don't want you anymore. Boo -boo. I'm guiding. I have no idea. Ring world game guide. Game boomers. That's a good. That's a good name. Uh, rock that safeguards his people. Wants to have a little drink. To return to Lander in search for drink in Lander Bay, blah blah blah. Should take the lift to level two from Quintus of Food, blah blah blah. Grab a rope. Grab a rope. No wait. Yeah, that's it, this ultra moonshine. Quite the Quintus subjected to a Rishatra with a member of another race, but it has its advantages, so you just suffer through it. To work you can grab a rope and wander back to the chief's room. Find can we find room in our pocket for that little ladder thing? Yes, of course. We missed the rope. Leave the watch. Leave the house and watch this guard conveniently leaves his previous standpoint. There are interesting smokes up there. Oh, I can use a ladder to get up there. So what did I miss? I missed. I must have missed some pixels here. Oh, now he doesn't leave his land. His signpost anymore. Dude, leave. You always does. You always do this. Now he leaves again. I guess I should get the ladder anyway, but let's see. There in the middle, okay. I think I tried to use a the ladder there. Uh oh, hi. Ow, fuck! You have no business here. Be gone. If you are found here again, this one will see to that the sky gods punish you. So if the smoke made noise to wake the priest, a quiet landing be more effective. Which is the the rope. But what if I do it again for fun? Hey, you sell Samuel. Good morning. The, the, fucking. Use the fucking. There you go. Death scene. Death scene. Death scene. Yeah. Nah, it doesn't change anymore. What happened with the game overs, the Sierra game overs? You, they, they weren't afraid to do that earlier. Speaking of. <laughs> I think I went into the live fire. What was that with death scenes? That really has to hurt, falling into a blazing kitchen fire like that. I missed rope, though. So I sh there's some rope play that I haven't gone. Oh, so this one I could pick up. Oh, imagine all the things that I clicked on. This, click, 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 and I, and I didn't see the rope. What an idiot. Ropes are so important for video games, Golem. Rope play. Rope play. Hey, Zay. This golem and his rope play isn't working out for him. I love the track. Stupid but simple. 
I'd like to like the butt simple. I'd butt, 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 butt. I'd butt my butt on bicycles. I'd butt, 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 bit, boot, scooped, boo. Oh, and that's a remix? It had like the same melody to Bad and Blue. The stasis box. Maybe the stasis box is in here. Hey, VB, how you doing? Some oil has been set alight in this stone bowl. It's quite smoky, but maybe that's the idea. Severed human hand. This does not seem like a good sign. Your rabbit. I don't know what this is, but you wouldn't want to run into a dark canyon. More offerings for the god figures. Might be another lesser god. Priest stays near the place at all times. The canyon people's temple. Yeah, they take the horse head. You don't bother with it. Carry the fire. I'm doing good, Vivi. Hope you are as well. I had the craving to play some point and clicks. Something I wanted to be to find the game, some old janky point and click game, so I can just relive some frustration. And I just like miss being passionately angry. Oblivion just got me bored a little bit. So I needed a refresher. Oops, that's probably not a good idea. Okay, still asleep. But this is actually a pretty chill one. This is more of a... Um, it had segments of just movie. It's meant to be like an interactive uh, story thing. But now, in this part, we're doing actual just point and click things. Doing splendid. Nice to hear, Kirithid. Hmm. So we got in here. Right? Which is great. Absolutely fantastic. Hey, <laughs> look at it. It's like a crack in the wall, no use for dance. Can't leave. What about this bear skin? It looks very old and brittle. It would crumble if I tried to take it. Take a look at it, though. Ah, and you guys couldn't figure it out, you dinguses? So I can see the exact solution. And you guys are like, we have no idea what the fuck the force field is. Shit. But we have a bear skin that had some similar symbols, but we don't know what to make of it. We leave it. But it seems that we need a little piece in the middle there. So, moon, earth, star, and flare. And then in the middle there's some ring play. So we need a ring play. Or we just don't. The about scuba, moon, earth, star, flare. We can try that first and just see. Stasis box. I think our dialogue is weird. Just get the fuck out! I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go. Hey, Ryan. Hey, you lovely degenerate. Hey, you lovely misanthrope.
Yeah, we need like uh, the ring in the middle. This is a ring. <laughs> so this is correct. But we need the zzz that gave you a tingly feeling. Wait, was that good though? Wait, that didn't do it when I had the wrong one, did it? Or does it do it when I have all form? Now it's incorrect, right? Zzz, yeah. Zzz. Zzz. Oh, that's just the using that, okay. Boop! 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 Stasis box. I'm working on it. Hey, I'm working on it. All right. I'm working on it. I'm taking like forever in this place. She's like, God damn it. This this guy's useless. And animals can look. Can I look under your rug? I need a thing and with a thing in the middle. And this one looks great. Maybe I don't. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do now. I think I know what I can do. I think if I just sneak in from... Fuck you. If I stand on the other side, I can probably just snag it and leave from that side again. Because then he probably won't wake up. Just leave from south. And then snag it from this side. Probably will be none the wiser. There it is. Need a vest that shows off your sex pack. Yeah, it's a good idea. Show that off. What in the world is Seeker carrying? I don't know what it used to be, but it looks like Seeker's lunch now. You're kidding me. He'll eat that mess? Nothing like the fresh killed taste of Kazinti. I faced the devil in his own den, and bested him in single combat. The great orange sky god Siku has performed a heroic deed for the people in the canyon. I'll take the remains of the beast away to the sky. The screaming devil will not bother the canyon people again. The people are very grateful. Now the sky gods will be taken to the sky mother's egg. That which we call the Sky Silver. I am pleased. I'll return soon to visit the Egg of the Sky Mother. This one will await your return. As for you, fuckface, I wish to see the Sky Silver. Sky Silver lies this way. Come, the tech will decide what you shall see. Here is the tech. If you know what the secret, you shall see the sky silver. Here is that which we have kept safe for a thousand lifetimes. You've done well, son of a thousand. Thank you, Sky God Ziku. We shall approach the egg alone. As you wish. Don't walk into me, man. Come on. Space. Space. This is not a ship of puppeteer design. It seems unlikely that if this is the ship which brought Louie Wu and the Chimmy to the ring world. Of course, this is still a significant discovery. In fact, we may be looking at a billion year old artifact, the Thurinton slave of culture. Thurinton. <laughs> Skip 
synthesizers do. Can barely hear it now. Yeah, fucking. That didn't do anything. Yeah. Come back when we're not done here yet. Stasis field surrounds the spacecraft. Now the stasis box. Now Miranda should have said that. Shoot with a stun gun. Maybe we need that ladder again now. What are we looking for? We must discover a means by which to disable the stasis field. Did we just do that? That's a force field, okay. Disable the stasis field. Come back when. I don't know. Hmm. Do they sell skooma? Hey, Superstand. No skooma. You're not even allowed to leave. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any means of external control. Then we can reasonably assume the Sky Mother's Egg won't be hatching any time in the foreseeable future. At least not until we find a way to defeat a stasis field from the outside. There's nothing more for us to do here. We must return to the lander. Good, we figured it out. Think, Quinn. The stasis reflection which we picked up from that ship was one of many. If the contents of this stasis field do date back to the culture of the Thrint enslavers, then the others may also. They could contain undiscovered slaver technology. Maybe even something to help us get the ship out of stasis. They could contain anything, or nothing at all. We must investigate each of them. Anyone could contain the technology we require. Quinn, Seeker, we have a transmission coming in. What have you accomplished with us far? Where are the boxes you retrieved? Have you helped them yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Silence, Leaf Eater. It will take some time to provide a comprehensive report of our activities thus far. What Seeker is trying to say is that we've just been running in circles so far. Found a stasis field, but cannot deactivate it. Where is it? Do you have it with you? How did you attempt to deactivate the field? What have you? Calm down, Hymos. Stasis field surrounds some type of spacecraft. There are no external controls on the stasis field, and it's far too big to move. We are proceeding to the coordinates of the next stasis reflection at best speed. I must know what the stasis field contains. I remind you that your very lives and the fate of your species are at stake. Failure is not an option. Do not threaten us, grass eater. We will not fail, I most. See that you don't? I will continue again. We need to be very careful about what we tell him. We tell Hymost. I don't trust him. Nor do I. We're nothing more than expendable assets to him. I've already checked over the comm equipment to ensure that Hymos can't monitor us unless his hologram is active. I also made certain that we control reception of the holographic transmissions. You were wise to do so, Miranda. Approaching the scanner coordinates of the next stasis box. We must focus now on the task before us. Recovery of this box may be difficult. 
stasis box is in a cavern, so it's about 20 meters below the surface. Readings indicate life forms down there. Oof. Oh, damn. Some fairly large ones. What do you say? Land and have a look? Yeah, we shall put down in the open area near the cave mouth. I'll investigate further. Why you? Why not me or Miranda? Why not all of us, for that matter? Because I am the Kazinti. Now, there's an intelligent answer. There's no reason for you to go along. How about this for a reason? I could cover you in case there's trouble. If a situation were to develop when I were in trouble, you'd be dead. Okay, then. You cover me. Just let me go along, waiting around the hill, drive me nuts. Miranda, you stay here and see if the Hymos had any other devices installed aboard. Quinn, fine, come with me. But stay out of my way. But Maximus has been hindmost. <laughs> Glutthicius is my favorite one. Oh, it's Glutthicius. The brave. Skeptical remains. What do you make of it, Seeker? It would seem that whoever lives within these caverns has a taste for human flesh. Quinn, you will return to the lander. I shall explore the caverns alone. Why? Because of an old pile of bones? Because I do not need your interference. Humans have poor hunting instincts and make too much noise. Warfare is my profession, remember? I know how to survive. So you say. Well, stay here and survive. I'll handle this. Why is it so difficult for you to accept my help? Why should I? I'm more than capable of handling this myself. Oh, no reason at all, you brainless furball. I'll just sit back here while you troop off on your own into a cavern full of who knows what. See you when you get back. Well, if you, if you get back. I am going into the cavern alone. Do not argue with me further. If necessary, you may come down and... What was that expression again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover me. Besides, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Extensive cavern system. Artificial. Quite realistic. See any life forms? Now look, I do smell them everywhere. What do they smell like? Not the same as all humanoids, like food. That's very funny. I was not attempting humor. The odor of the decaying flesh is rather pronounced, but more than that is difficult to determine. Stand by. Detected movement approximately 25 meters ahead. Target bearing 349 degrees plus 30. Set this grow strong. They must... They must be... Ah! Ah! Sika, what's wrong? Sika, we lost the... Fuck. Computer, redisplay 2240.4. Ah! Could you have to go after Sika? He may be in real trouble. A mighty Kazin warrior? Perish the thought. What did Taz didn't the big Joe take a stun and all let you come along in the first place? He didn't even take a gun. <laughs> Don't ask me. You stay in contact. I'll go pull the tiger's tail out of the fire. Seeker may be injured. You better take a medkit with you. I already have it. 
I already got it with me. Through recent faffing. He's dead, Jim. No, I, I refuse. All I have to say, no, that statement. He fucking died. He did not fucking die. You guys, shut the fuck. Shut the fuck. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Miranda, I'm heading now. Stay sharp. I'm on to you as long as I can. You see, my faffing about was actually a highly strategic plan. Hey, Clayton. Hey, Rooks. Make us. It's a pile of bones, uncomfortably human looking. Wind and sand have sculpted rocks into harsh and beautiful shapes. We're going in the cave and having some fun. Having some fun in the cave of death. Oh, look. I'm inside a cavern. How am I signal strength? You getting this? Signal strength is nominal. Be careful, huh? Practically my middle name. I don't see anything threatening so far. Some bat creatures around. They look pretty harmless. One seems to be stuck in some type of snare. Any sign of Seeker? Nothing so far, but there's some kind of strange odor in here. Bapt. More bapt. Maybe if I help bapt number one, they won't attack me. Bad light creature. Bad light creature. It's like a small bat creature. He's caught in some sort of snare. I'll <laughs> just fucking shoot it. No need to stun it. Not very useful here. I can't help you. You're a bit far up from me, I think. Try to see why you can't reach the snare. Snare is made up of fibers strong enough to restrain one of the small bat creatures. I need to find a stick. I can use the bones from before, but I, I, he didn't want to pick up a bone. Pick up a bone. Pick up a bone. Use the fucking bone to <laughs> untangle the snare of the bat. Good, we gotta wait for this one. Becoming three pixels. Maybe go forward in the cave. Further, maybe we can find some of them. Apparently, the snare is not the only trap in these caverns. Taking to the meet your captor's leader. Sending before the flesh eater, Lord. Your knees are wobbly. You feel almost like you're drunk. Strange odor, if you noticed before, was very pronounced. Apparently, the flesh eaters exude a strong pheromone, which is disabling you. I see you have a piece of sky silver. Maybe we could work out some sort of trade for it, huh? I'm sorry, you must be talking too fast. I didn't understand a word you said. <laughs> you do ramble on, don't you? Listen, how about I just take that little box with me? By the way, have you seen a big tiger running around here loose? Erm... Good fist. No, please, don't go to any extra trouble for me. Let's talk about stasis box and overbearing Gazinti cats. Kitty cats! Gazinti cats, hey! That's a pretty good joke! And 
food, bitch, food, bitch. Wait, 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 hey, where we're we going? I thought we were talking. Now, oh, another pit. Was it something I said? Who it really stinks in here. Once away from the main cavern, your head is, begins to clear. Hey, you... you okay? Hey, Seeker, you alright? Wake up! Seems totally unresponsive. I got my med kit. Check the general stimulant to the Seeker's arm. Still seems a bit groggy. There's a dream look on his face. Only smiles with a dream look from a kazin is frightening. Stun him. Wake him up. Kick him. Another room in the cavern system. At first glance, and this one seems to be completely sealed off. You feel better. The dizziness you feel earlier is now gone. Fragments of foul-smelling flesh still cling to the shattered skull. Sharp bone fragments. There we go. We got a boner. Begin to find the dampness of the rocks unpleasant. Well, it doesn't do anything here. It's like a tunnel, but it's too small for a secret to fit through. Huh, bye. That was pretty good. Don't go into the same trap. What? <laughs> good job. So I still don't do I don't still don't pick these guys with the bone. That fucking <laughs> The theory on the therapeutic value of kicking simply isn't accepted by medical authorities. But kicking to to they can evoke a response. We can elicit responses to unconscious, potentially unconscious victims to see if they're doing okay. We've been over this. Very sharp bone. Or do I want a very sharp bone? Heavy core descends from the ceiling. Shoot. Hmm. We use med more med pick med kit on the guy. Yeah, it's. I like the art style, like the backgrounds are kind of painted in a way, and then the foreground is more pixelated, the, the sprites. All the medical attention you can. Poke him. The bone. We can't bone Seeker. Seems to have been drugged. So 
So we can't get the flesh off the bone with the or flesh off the skull with the bone. Maybe I return to Miranda and talk about what I found. I'll see. Wet pixels. Wet pixel. Wet pixels sounds awesome. That should be like a, a channel name or a YouTube. Wet pixels. It just sounds nice. It, it also sounds kind of weird, but it, it, it sits on the tongue. It's got that tongue value. Go on, Quinn. You're the only one with a skill to rescue seeker. I, I, yeah, uh, I left. <laughs> I guess we don't go back. Yes, we could get information on the um, BAPT. I don't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Day after day, I got my boner. Looking for seeker, getting him up. Maybe we should have a, a break. No. Yes. No. No, yeah, no, no, no. So he does this. He tries, you can't reach the snare. But if I try to use the bone, he's like, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Can you jump over this stupid pit? It feels like any other rock. You're gonna be... pitted. Oh, oh! Can I walk around like this? Ah, you could! Unable to break the core, but better can go back! I did a good deed, which means... The bat flew away. Good. So we solved that. But now the other bats have left. Alright. But that was good. They just seem to go hand in hand. Can I go down here? Is that a hole? Like any other rock. You can't seem to make yourself move. <gasps> ah! Oh. Was it something I said? Was it something I did? Something I said and did and said and did? Hey. You do better? No. <laughs> Can you help us? He just threw us in here. Do you know a way out? You uh, me, me helped. Do you give... Painkillers drink, protect from ether smell. Me show way out. Gee, come through, Hurl. Way out, Hurl. Here we go. Well, old guy, you may be planning to drop me right into the cooking pot, but I'm ready to try and go with you. 
but... <laughs> it was easier. It is still same thing. Good point. I'll take my dose of this stuff and save some for Seeker. We already know we go through there. We had to go down here to get the bone to begin with, to get to save the guy. A perfectly oh. round pothole. A perfectly round pothole. A perfectly round pothole. Perfectly round pothole. A perfectly round pothole. Bedroom. 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 Thank you for the seven, seven, seven bits, Ubricus. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Perfect new round battle. <laughs> thank you for the support and for the goofs and the gaffs. So I saved some for Seeker, but he was incapacitated, so he can't do anything with that yet. Right, so... You have to finish the Telltale Back to the Future game, so... <laughs> He's like, oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, I'm leaving! Oh, sh oh he did, did my friend die? Oh fucking shit! This wasn't fun anymore! He shot him! He shot our friend! We're gonna play with him! Jesus! This fu- What the fuck, dude? You can't bring yourself to touch the sickly blue flesh. Stunned flesh eater lies sprawled across the cavern floor. Oh no, they're trumpet flesh eaters. Hole? No hole. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but not there apparently. Hey Maslowick. Good. Seems that we figured this one out. The trumpet man? <laughs> Uh, Trumpet Man has made an appearance once or twice before, yeah. It's more of a, more of a character that just talks to you, and but it has a trumpet instead. Are you okay, Trumpet Man? Is it yes? Do you need help? Trumpet Man, help you. I, I don't. I need to not understand. Big Peter. Push on sad. Feels like any other rock. I said push on fucking sad. What do you mean push on side? You mean stand on top of it? No, you fucking fucking hell, humans are stupid. Where's this big pillar? This one. <laughs> push this one. <laughs> An alien pet only makes trumpet noises. It must be. This seems to be that one. But I can't get up there, so maybe not. Big pillar. Which big pillar? There are many big pillars. Hey, Abigail. 
Similar character in Psyche Q manga. Use the guitar instead. Yeah, I'm all about the trumpet. What are we, uh, we're pillaring about? Oh, maybe down back in the, um, in the pit? But that's a stone wall. We go back down to dingus or something. Yeah, I'm trying to do the foreground stuff as well. But it didn't seem to do anything yet. This giant one? This is... This one seems to be different, like it's on, in front of some rocks, but... Rock of the Cave is cool and a bit moist to the touch. Oh. No, it said more there. Solid and unyielding. Wait. Which one said that? Which one said solid and unyielding? This one? Huh? Hey, Pangogi. DOS adventure game, indeed. The ring world. <laughs> what? Huh. I got like more stuff. We've been told what to do. It's pushing a pillar to the side, but uh, we don't know what kind of pillar and the painting of those plays don't look too good to me. If I go there, he just decides to walk around the other side. I do, but Martin, move. I'm obliged to move. Move, move. But that's for um, uh, Seeker later on. And I'm about to move. Whatever you say to me, one step through step three. And I'm about to move. <laughs> one step, step two, step three. That's what it is. Any of these seem a little fun to me. And they're pushing the pillar, maybe the boulder. The boulder. The boulder. Wait. Put what put that 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 back 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 what the put that back that was just there like there what the fuck that was the same that can't be the same well that doesn't even make sense and then we push a boulder that was just this place what what but they put 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 they So we 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 for some reason this leads to the same place that makes no sense in a way. Do you want this now? Okay. Oh, okay. So he gets up with the pheromone. And now with him, we can probably move on. Siggy, you alright? I thought we had to wait. Ah, oh, it seems to know them. Still a bit groggy. You look awful. What happened to you anyway? One of the creatures bit me during the struggle. I was evidently injected with some sort of drug. 
I didn't even I didn't even put up a fight. Now my mind went blank and I just let them take me. I think we underestimated these guys. I recall a certain blankness as well. Do you know why they are keeping us here? Let me put it this way. I don't think we're in the prison. I think we're in the pantry. Charming. Kazinti make poor leftovers. Well, you do have a sense of humor. What I do not have is a plan for escaping. At least we have some allies. I helped one of those bat creatures escape from a snare. It gave me some sort of antidote to flesh sheet a pheromone. That's what brought you around. I also got a way out of here. And let us do what needs to be done. I don't wish to remain here longer than necessary. So that hole is big enough for Seeker. I'm guessing. That's the idea. Because it's slightly thicker. Or not. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good though? Blah. Seeker, can, can, can you jump up to this hole? <laughs> what about the stasis box? I didn't get it yet. Continue searching for it. I'll remain here until you return with it. All right. <laughs> and now I'm over here. What? What? Come on, video game. Come on. It must be something to do. Come on. We're gonna do this shit. Come on. It's beginning to look a lot like shit, Puzz. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Well, it's maybe a little bit. But it's not bad. It's just uh, whatever, you know. And the other rock. Nah, moon logic hasn't been the thing yet. He says, Pushki boo. Big pillar push on side. Big pillar push on side. Maybe, maybe big pillar outside of the place again. Many big pillars that we push on side. And they're the same. The oh, fucking. <laughs> I get over here. There's no big pillar on side here. Fucking hell, what do we do? There can't be much to do either. That's the thing. There's a limited amount of do to be done. Kitty refusing to leave the cave. We found this little box of happiness, you know. Shortcut. Ah, wait. Yeah. There was something there. I saw it now. I'll show you guys. Look. Go quick. The flushies may return at any moment. There was like a four black, very prevalent um, um, things there. So it was this one. And it kind of cut off there. 
All right, that was okay. It's a little bit hard to find. Does it look so similar? smaller than the other cameras, but the piles of human skulls keeps it from feeling genuinely cozy. At least that's the only thing. Let's get out of here. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> that was a narrow escape, huh, Seeker? The danger from the flesh eaters was greater than I had anticipated. We were indeed fortunate. You performed well for your human. Can I interpret that as a thank you? Uh, do as you like, Quinn. We have a considerable distance to travel to reach the vicinity of the next stasis box. We can take the land at no closer than 200 kilometers. Wait a second, Seeker. We've got another transmission from Hindmost coming in. Can't say I care much for his timing. Activate the hollow, Miranda. Progress report. What have you accomplished? I know what you must at least have one box by now. What's the contain? We recovered one small stasis box, but there has been little time to attempt to open it. The stasis box we are currently approaching is on a plateau in the center of a sunflower field. Such are the difficulties we face. Make no excuses, I uh, will have results! I warn you, do not underestimate me! Quinn, the stasis box which you retrieved from the flesh eaters has been stolen in the land of bay. Seems to be as good a time as any to try to release the field and see what's inside the box. I have no intention of handling whatever technology might be in these boxes over to the puppeteers without knowing what I'm giving up. Have we got anything in the computer about stasis fields that might help us? I don't know. You go on ahead. I'll check the computer files and then join you in the land of bay. Fine. We'll see you there. The little tiny tail. Oh, he only fits. Barely fits. Force fields. Computer. Force fields. Hyperdrive. General products. Cetacean. Booster Spice. Bandersnatch. Hyperwave. Messages over. Hey, Fluffington, how you doing? General products, GP is known for general products hull. Visible lights, GP hull. Any other substance on the effects of gravity and other forces would be harmful or fatal to the inhabitants. No new general products hulls have been available since the publisher's exam. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they like some more entries, man. I checked out some of these earlier. List of subjects. The Kroger, small dudes, the dolphin, the cetacean, right? I think it was for the dolphins, I would say. Form of whaling and granted full of human equivalents. Yeah, extra reference, dolphins. Or cross reference, sorry. 
Uh, we don't know in Gazano. The Thrind found stasis in the Atlantic Ocean in Bermuda. Brought into telepathic contact with a human telepath, Larry Greenberg, who is human persona with telepathic telepath. Stasis, though. Because Greenberg absorbed all the experience and memories of the alien, much information about the Thrind Empire was available to the scientists on Earth. Zano, sometimes known as the Sea Statue, you know, permanent display. Kaba Blabba Scuba Babba. Cross reference Thrint. You're cross referencing Thrint. Ah, I see. I can, go, I can go new pages here as well. There we go. That helps. Just two pages, though. Um. Stasis field, well, there you go. A field within which persons or objects are not affected by the passage of time. Stasis fields were developed by the Th Thuktipan during the Thrint Empire and are sometimes referred to as slavery stasis fields. Valuable items representing significant technological advances have been found in containers, stasis boxes, enclosed in stasis fields and unchanged for more than a billion years. Two types of stasis fields have been identified. The most common stasis field is used as a protective field in an emergency and is established automatically in times of danger. These fields have no external controls. The second field is used as a protective seal for valuable or delicate items and will occasionally have controls. The physical properties of stasis field particles prevent one field from existing inside another. The larger field automatically takes precedence. Pres 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 Prin Princeton, Princeton. I forgot the word, but I'm here now. I was, I was thinking S. Um, Thrindon Thnuktipun. Thnuktipun. Good names. So, um, uses a merging protective. No external controls. The second is used as a protective seal. Will occasionally have controls. Physical properties over the faces will prevent one field from existing inside another. Slave race. The thrink the thrinton thick the pun thunk the pun thunk the thank thank the busk. To device life forms that were used with the Thrinton in the short run and could be turned against them when the time came to revolt. Among these were the Bandersnatch. Um, Slaver Sunflower was used by the Thrint as defense, but were turned against them when the revolt began. Thucked upon engineering have been discovered in known space. These include stasis fields, Bandersnatches, Slaver Disintegrators, Food Yeast, and Slaver Sunflowers. Other legendary technologies as a total energy conversion. All right. Got, got it. It's okay. Didn't help me much. What are you guys looking at? I was thinking about the whole box. The lander bay. It was in the lander bay. Should have been the lander bay. The sunflower entry. We could go and check the sunflower entry as well, I guess. I was getting a little bit bored by going for thing to thing to thing to thing. Hoping that I already had it. Sunflower entry. Slaver sunflower. Beepo! Plant by Thnuktipun. Defensive weapon. Petals absorb. Sunlight. So I guess maybe we want to get a sunflower thingy. It's still found on some worlds once dominated by the Thrint Empire. Maybe we're going there to pick up some slaver sunflowers or whatever it was. Hello! Computer had the solution we needed. One stasis field cannot exist inside another. We need to put this stasis box inside another stasis field. Oh, that was just the first entry. As soon as we activate the outer field, the original field around, all around the box will dissolve. All we have to do then is shut down the other field and we're in the box. Because they said in the field that we can't, one cannot exist within the other. 
for this smaller box. That's simple. I'll, I'll rig it up and we'll be in the box before you know it. It worked. Not certain of exactly what we have here, but it looks like some kind of control module. Sad, what? What you doing with that thing? Put it away before somebody gets hurt. Funny thing, when that beam hits you, your fingertips tingle and you heard ringing in your ears. The autopilot is set to take us to the next stasis field. Our ETA at present speed is 14 hours, 12 minutes. Nice, just we all get some rest. Later. After rest or something. We probably should have waited until nightfall to attempt the retrieval. Those sunfire beams can be dangerous. Oh, we could send in a robot probe if you think you are good enough to remote pilot. The cloud cover should protect the probe from the sunflower beams. Launch your probe. You can fly anything you can put in the air. Can I though? Is it a mini game time? Probe is ready for launch. Initiate the countdown sequence. Probe launch successful. Switching to pro visuals. Rock area should be directly at it. Can you see it? Careful, the probe can't handle much of that. Okay, I'm I'm just maneuvering like this. Hey, this is this tougher than it looks. I need to go to a specific feet. Whoa! Doing the best I can. Just hope we can hold together. Oh, I see something. Whoa. Some fucking monk is stare over here. Keep it. Oh, that was tight. Oh, I see. We're going towards it. So twenty-one thousand is left. Oh God. Oh God. This is gonna take a while. Hey, Mister Age. This is Ring World. A game based on the sci-fi novel by Larry Niven. Or Niven. A point-and-click adventure. A very cinematic, though, like a story-focused with interactions, mostly, kind of an adventure. DOS Hot Mode 7. I don't even know this is called Mode 7. Could be. Uh, probably not. Just look. I don't think it is. Okay, we're there. It is just not specific, yeah. Better take the control so you can, my hands are sweating. You surprised me, Quinn. Should have thought you were already a stock. Humans sweat, because then twitch their tail. What's the difference? Very well, I will achieve the station box and return to the probe. Wait for his return to the land of bay. Probe is secure. Terminate bridge control. 
Pro was apparently damaged during the flight in. Can it be repaired? I don't think so. The directional stabilizer is shot. I doubt that they will fly again. Uh, very well. Yeah. Return to the bridge at once. I'll stow the probe in Stasis Box and be right up. Close that door. Buy a probe. Aww. You just left it. You said you'd store it, though. Quint Seeker, another transmission from Hindmost is coming in. Report, what have you accomplished? Have you retrieved any additional stasis boxes? We have, but acquiring stasis boxes on this world is not a simple task. We could work faster with fewer interruptions. Mind your tongue, I could still give your position to Kasinti. And reveal to them even more detail about Ringworld? I don't think so, I must. We're relatively safe from your threats here. You need us more than we need you. You tread on dangerous ground, Quinn. I must insist on regular progress reports. The contents of those stasis fields is of great interest to me. Ye ye. I remind you that your lives and the fate of your species remains the price of failure. Let us return to our task. You'll get your precious stasis boxes. Of that I have no doubt, I will contact you again. We can deactivate this fuel using the same technique as the first one. By the way, you won't believe what the module from the first box turned out to be. Must we guess? Inform us of your fun foundings. Fun fun leaders. I'm fairly certain it's a control module. Probably for the sunflowers. The slavers evidently needed some way to control the neural waves of the sunflowers. By altering the neural wave patterns of the plants, they could control the plants' laser beams. This little module works like a regulator. It uses a variable width beam to distort neural wave patterns. I think that at its high setting, the device would permanently disable any neural wave pattern. So you can, I might need it if we encounter any more sunflowers. I'll, I'll take it with me. You've done well, Miranda. Let us know when you have released the contents of this box. We'll continue on to the next stasis box. We have reached the coast. The next stasis box is 12 miles offshore, bearing 023.7. It lies in deep water, approximately 94 fathoms. The lander must remain here. Quick reconnaissance of the beach map provides some clue as to how we should proceed. A probe would be useful for recovery of the box. It's fortunate that our only probe won't fly. It would seem one of us must go after the box. Scanners indicated the box is at a depth greater than our pressure suits can stand. Looks like we got a real problem in our hands. Quinn, scanners indicated hominid life form approximately 10 meters from the shore near the surface of the great ocean. Oh, we're gonna get a dolphin. Quinn, go and see if you can make contact. You know why we're gonna get a dolphin? I guess we can't show. No, it's not gonna show us. Dolphins have arms. Grabby arms. We saw it on the Wikipedia. Louis Wu, you've returned! Greetings, friend. You mistake me for my friend, Louis Wu. I see Louis Wu and Chimi. And they've been here recently. They have been quite quite a long time. Who are you? I'm called Quinn. I am called Skina. My people are the coastal sea people. These waters are our home. 
I hope you find Louie Wooey Woo and Kamika Zin where the fuck. May the fates be generous during your journey. Wait. Maybe you can help me. I need to retrieve a box which lies in the depths of the great ocean. I am but a simple gatherer among my people. You must speak with our leader. Can you take me to speak to the leader of your people? Come, I will take you to the Coral House of Poria. Shall I walk into the water and drown with you? <laughs> Chat, I need to do a small, short... A short break. Uh, stretch and take care of yourself. You should do it too. I'll be right back. Enjoy your break. Take care and get some coffee. Get some bagels, pretzels, donuts, and snacks that you would like to enjoy yourself by tapping the desk. For some reason, I'm tapping the desk. Continuously doing it. Should probably stop at this point. But I'm doing it anyway. I'll be right back. Better than basic half-life at least. <laughs> Sorry, I was muted. I meant to say hello. I also said, <laughs> but that's muted, so no more. Thank you for the 100 bits, Shorty. Appreciate that. You're not equipped for swimming. Clearly, I'm not. I can't swim! Not poor yeah, well, yeah, wait, wait, what was it? You must swim to the coral house under the sea! All right. I'll I'll uh, get my uh, suit. Hopefully, a pressure suit can swim a little bit. If we had a diving suit, that would be great too. I mean, it's got some oxygen and stuff in it, so it should be okay. Should be all right. I got that little. You have to use the airlock with your suit. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Not even allowed to try. I see how it is. It's activated by the button. You have to use the airlock. You're like, okay, why? Good. <laughs> Fishy! Fish, captured fish. But it blew. I like the mystique of the soundtrack. Hey Twig, how you doing? That looks like a fish. It's so sexy. No. Well, Pori, I am the Skeena. A servant among your people had brought a land dweller named Quinn who seeks your favor. Who is this Quinn that I should speak with him? Master, he flies through the skies in the great ship of the air. His power is great. I shall speak with him. Um, that, that's, that's him. Loporia, this is the land dweller. Quinn. You are one of great power. What do you ask from us? I seek a box which lies in the depths of this ocean. I ask your help in retrieving it. Coastal sea people will assist you if you will help us in return. 
Louie Wooey Woo gave us a device which enabled us to talk with the dolphins. The device has been stolen by the explorer. He hides it in his sky house. And you want me to get it back? The, the translator device, we can send the dolphins to retrieve your box. Well, I'll try to get your box from the explorer. Dolphins. You hear that? Dolphins. Yeah, we can pre do pretty much anything. <laughs> That's what we, uh... I'll show you the computer of the dolphins in this game. There's a picture of them. So many dolphin modes. Dolphin modes. Dolphin, 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 dolphin. Everybody! Dolphin, 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 dolphin. Uh, where you at? The grabby hands of the cyber cetaceans. <laughs> the cyber cetaceans sounds like one of those... The, the B movie, cult movies. The attack of the cyber cetaceans. Did you get the stasis box? Ah, yeah, the leader of the sea. Will people help us if I can recover a translator device for them? Can you give me a location on any nearby floating sky houses? Since it show a small structure at an altitude 6,000 feet, bearing 334, range 2 miles, readings indicate a single hominid life form. Reconnaissance of the structure would seem appropriate. Got it. Got to copyright that one, girl. Go, 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 quickly! To the copyright machine! Got to watch someone play a ring over Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Dr. Smooth. Do I gotta do the fly cycle? Uh. Do you know what you will do? Nah, yeah, but I'll keep working on it. Well, I know I'm not. I need to do the reconnaissance. Reconnaissance. Maybe we do the fly cycle. But it's an altitude of 6,000 feet. Maybe we're driving to that mountain in the background there. Is it fly cycle time? I believe it's fly cycle time. Do <laughs> I can fly with the fly cycle. Okay. It's not just hover cycle. I hear you poking around back there. Greetings, friend. I come seeking the explorer. Oh, you found me. I'll leave. If you're not interested in trading, I'll go. Trading for what? Not so fast, friend. I'm looking for something specific. You gotta translate the box which once belonged to the sea people. And that's what I want. You don't have anything I want badly enough to trade the translator. Then you do still have it. Maybe I do, and maybe I don't. But if I do, I'm sitting on it till Bander starts flies. You're certain of that? There's no reasoning with you? You're not as dumb as you sound! Now leave! I have it your way. Is 
See, not looking fella. He seems completely absorbed in his work. This has the puppeteers and the cat people, yeah. Bam. Draw looks well worn. Appears to be a calendar. Appears to be a workroom. 10 millimeter current mantle climber rope. It only has a little, it's only a little frayed. It's a quirk. Oh, what a shame. Shimmy pool what appears to be some type of grease or lubricant. Why the fuck would I do that? You pick up the cup, there's nothing under it. Use the cup. Green substance appears to be some kind of repellent, yet non-toxic to animals, to mammals. Should never use frayed climbing rope. Keep away from my stuff! Nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. We figure out the grease. We did grease it up a bit. Transfer tube. There is a glint of metal inside the mouth of the tube. Give away! Power supply doesn't seem to work. I think just like a kid your great 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 used to make. Bend over and lube it up if you want the translator. I just leave. Da-da, he left the scene, what a hero. He gave up all the means. <laughs> no, you go back. <laughs> Obviously something we need with them. I guess since we're here, we can talk to... Um, the Gazinti. No, the Catman, the Seeker, Seeker guy. Kazinti. Cap. Is, what's this race called? I don't know. Um. You can see some marks. I'm still working on it. Okay, so nothing more. We saw the grease. Maybe we can bring him the stasis box or something. Well, I didn't bring it. Something that he would want in return, I guess. Could help. We're not giving him a stasis box. Down we watch this cutscene, please. Are you poking around back there? Same thing as before. Till a bandersnatch flies. We can read on bandersnatches. You're not very cooperative, are you? So shoot me, it's my stuff. I have important things to do. Get out. Mm, nope, nope. Stun him. Actually, just stunned him. 
music decided to go double. It's a key. I, dude, video game. Video game. You you, you double music. Broke, I think. <laughs> Try again. Each time I return, we'll add a new music loop. Got the key. That is, was it drawers locked or something? Doesn't fit anywhere. Unknown implements. That's true. He did so shoot me. That's that's true. <laughs> shoot me like fine. I guess I missed the joke. My bad. That was actually a good one then, if I only had the brains to think about it. But, um... Okay. Usual junk, pens that don't write, buttons, a broken ruler. Filled with underwear, fantastic. Socks. Need any more tools. Stuck shut. I want that though. Stuck shut, is that soon? Hmm. I brought it with me. A, a, a purported neural wave nullifier. The device only causes a tingling in your fingertips and ringing in your ears. <sighs> well, we did the thing, we got the key. We opened the cork and some lube fell out. Can't use it on the loom. Ah. Do we need the grease? Sounds greasy. Left and right. We just spin it in a specific direction. No, don't <laughs> close them. Huh. You polish a tile with your handkerchief. There's nothing better than Got like a hand rubbed shine. Too heavy to move. What is this about?
Looks like I can use an... If I would grease it up, but I don't... can I can't use grease. I don't carry grease with me. What the... What is this? What is this? Replace the key where you found it. So I must use it on something and take it back, maybe. I don't know. A book about lubricants. <laughs> what a weird set. There must be something to this place. Oscilloscope or electronic measuring device. I just... Oh! Beep puskitu puskita puskitu! No, 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 What happens if we go back now? Do we, do we get double music? Is he awake again? Jim. Hey, only one music. Fixed it. We want the glass jar. There. And then we take the grease. There it is. It doesn't accomplish anything. Music just stopped. Game is working fine, don't worry about it. The green substance. So we got a key. No, we, we need to replace. We took the key back here now. It's a key. Now it's just the sound of nothing. The one that's shut tight. Doesn't accomplish anything. There's so many things. Measuring device, workroom, desk. This is too heavy to move. If we grease it up. Jesus, what are we supposed to do? The keys are weird. Because he's sitting there, and he's not sitting there anymore. These had uh, underpants in them. Don't need any more tools. Can't pick up any more tools either way. 
Underwear. Socks. Grease up the socks. I mean, yeah, you know. There's no power supply. It doesn't seem to work. And you don't want it either. This isn't the book at all. A slip of paper is hidden in the hollowed out section. 243. Okay, now we need to know which direction we put the... the, the okay. It's a 2 to the... Okay, we'll just figure it out. Go away. Other way around. Two, four, and three written on it. I tried to stop at two because it makes it at the end instead. It makes a bit it do at the very end. Did it do but dip did it do but dip did it little do did it do but dip dip bit 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 and it was weird it was like in the middle of here that we found the tip that was so pixelatedly duped did it do made it do did it do because it just says that it shuts tightly right it's stuck shut, which makes me believe that opening this with the combination of two, four, three. Two, and then slip four, three. It's like... We try the other way around. We only cover a small section of that. A small section? Cover a small section of that. What are you trying to cover, you dingus? You bangus! Beat it, dude! Instruction manual. Enable to read the writing. Reels nothing out of the ordinary. Yay, bus! Yay, bus! And the last one here, I don't know if I can do anything with because I can't trigger him. The locker is kind of in the way. Him, he is in the way. Of the locker. Oh, come on. What? Give me boots, give boo. Two, four, three, and then there's this. It must be, or can we press? Maybe we press in like this order. Two, four, three.
Where's the mole man? I don't have a specific mole man one. I should have a mole man. There it is. That's the music we wanted. It's very sticky and greasy. I can't use it. I can't use grease. Doesn't accomplish anything with green substance. I mean, the puzzle is probably easy. It just it doesn't make sense. Which makes no sense to say. The thing is, it's just... Now your hands are greasy. Does that... would that... What? No, that was just polishing the... Now your hands are greasy. Okay. Did I, was that good? Did I just grease myself up? Now your hands are greasy. A grease stained shop towel. Okay, so we greased it up. Are we doing this? We can't. This game is more serious than funny. But it's 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 a mix. It's a little mix. Every sort of thing here is interactable, almost. Your pockets are full enough. Machinery you've never seen. Decipher the inscription. A trophy of some sort. Hey, thank you. So we grease up our hands on this greasy... Was this greasy from before? I want to see. It is a grease stand. That was before we did anything, right? So it was already greasy. Greasy. <laughs> There's no music on our version. That was work. Nah, no. Hey, hey, how are you doing? I'm good to see you. Honey, I go both days. Get the butt. Hey, man. Any way else we can read this one? <laughs> Did he try to jump down? Yeah, don't do that. Hey, Curtis. Oh, this is what I wanted, though. This is why I came here. 
This is why I wanted to play this game. I wanted I wanted to get into this puzzly mess. He doesn't want to use a rope. It's a little afraid. I need a translator tool. These boxes are not open. Two, four, three. We found that note. What else can we do with the two, four, three? Is there something? The tiles? No, he doesn't. That must be bugged. So these represent the tiles on the floor? Two for how do I know what's just two for free though? Because like we have a, 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 a scoop. A, why are we spinning? Okay, so this is out of But how do you determine It's good to see you. Turn it 243 times. <laughs> um, okay. So these could present the tiles on the floor because we can use them. Oh no, wait, wait. Why is this? No, no, no. I think I know. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. So, this is all part of this thing, right? This area. I think... Yeah, so... It has a memory... Of the box. It's a- it's a- it's an error. So, it- the box shows up even though it's gone. This one. So that's why it's specifically these tiles over here. And not these or not that. So I can press the same tile here, but under there... That would not work. Let me get this away. I guess we'll press it there, but not there. Okay. So it's just a bug. Okay, it's not actual tiles being pressed. Okay, good. Good. That was just a game bug. Okay, got it. What if we go back to this one? One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Press exit down here. Stuck shut. It's not working. One, two. One, two, three, four. Two, three. Okay, so I think what happened there is that when I exited, I pressed there again. 
I must have pressed on the fucking thing. So I I wrote it out because of an unfortunate bug, I think. Or I might have just misclicked the thing. No, I know what it is. I probably pressed it correctly. But since I pressed exit and I got to do the there, and that's when I opened the chair thing, and that was part of the first sequence. That is what it was. The dolphin translator box. All right, we got it. We were... The puzzle's extra difficult because of reasons of game design. So we got there. I mean, one bug... One big bug, because not only did it make us think about where there's actually something about these tiles, but then we had then understand that it wasn't about the tiles that we pressed in. It was about the bug that we were actually still in the menu of the chair swivels. While we did this thing. And that's... When I after press exit, which resets the spin, but since I press here, that starts a new sequence, so if I go back into the chair thing and I continue spinning, it's gonna remember the previous sequence. Which is why it didn't work. The revenge was a making a buggy puzzle. That was his revenge. I might need to get my suit back on. You have a translator on your uniform. Well... Do you know what you will do? Not yet. I... I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, users. Oh boy, point and clicks. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, this has been pretty cool so far. I guess I do need to get my... Um... Suit. Go through the door, slip through. Let's go, buddy. Friend Quinn, there is no need to swim. I am your messenger. You found the translator, Quinn? Here's your device, Skeener. Can you guide the dolphin to your box? The box lies 12 miles offshore on the line from here to Poria's core house. It's uh, 94 fathoms, about 20 times deeper than the coral house. We will send the dolphins after your box. All right. Frank Quinn, the dolphins have found your box. They took no time whatsoever. They can't get close enough to retrieve it. What's the problem? The box lies amidst a group of stinging anemones. The anemone tentacles burn the skin of the dolphins when they approach. I'll wait here while you decide what is to be done. Alright. I got it. No, walk. The 
you have no use for that. I'll put your suit back. Oh, I guess we can keep our suit on. We might go back there. Great. Now the dolphins need pressure suits too. <laughs> we need more pressure suits. Zoot. Oh yeah, good old zoot. Do you get the stasis box? Oh yeah, still working on it. Okay, so we're not actually using him. Okay, the anemones are stinging you. The grease? Give him the grease. Computer has info. That's true. I could try that too. Found the substance in the explorer's skyhouse. Perhaps it will protect the skin of the dolphins. We should try this if the dolphins allow it. Quinn! They got your box! They don't know how to pick it up! Can't they use their teeth? The box would not fit in the mouth of a dolphin, you dingus! I'll wait here while you decide what has to be done. They need arms. Do we need to get that rope after all? Maybe they can tangle it. They have ar they have those fucking hands. Why don't you use their fucking? They got that. We checked in the machine. They got fucking hands. Use it, fuck. Yeah, they should have robot arms. Maybe their dolphins are not as good as we thought they were. Yeah, if dolphins are so smart, why don't they fucking figure it out, huh? You go figure it out, Mr. Dolphin. There's nothing in my place that I can use. The music? Yeah, it's... It's... It's just sci-fi sounds. I'll take it down a bit. It's sci-fi sound music. So if you look at the dolphins, okay? They should be already have attached harnesses of robot arms, okay? We know this already. They just, you pick it up with your fucking hands. Uh, species... And according to human equivalency, the passage of Scutation rights. Find the passage. But we don't, if they don't have them, we don't have extras. Um, aid of spe specially designed prosthetic hands. These hands, which are attached externally and utilize existing muscles in the flipper, which contains hand and arm bones dating to the bank dolphin's terrestrial origins, they enable them to perform complicated mechanical manipulations that would otherwise be impossible. Which gave him that? Which gave him the hands? The rights of the Cestation Rights Act. So they can use hands. The right to bear arms. But even though they have the right to bear arms... By the Cestation Rights Act of 2017... I, I didn't... We didn't hear about that, did we? We need those hands, though. It doesn't matter if they have the rights, if we don't have the hands. That's the problem. So I go out there and show them the rights to dolphins. Your right to... You have... <laughs> You have the right to bear arms. 
And they'll say, okay, well, get the arms ready. So, yeah, hmm. <laughs> Dolphins. The right to catch these hands. Papo, probe. Can I use my... I can use our discarded probe. What the fuck did I do? I'm dismantling it. I can give them... I can give them the hands. I can... yeah! A pair of Waldos from the ruined... We can give them hands! Because they have the right to bear arms! Now I can give them hands from our broken probe! Exactly! There was a logical solution all along! Maybe. Here's a device to allow the dolphins to pick up the box once they've found it. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Dolphins will find your box. I'll deliver it to you here. It worked. <laughs> Here's your box, friend Quinn. Will this help you find Louie Wooey and Kamiko Zin? I don't know, Skeena. How long have they been gone? They could not be far away. They had only their feet to carry them. Thank you, friend. Hope we meet again. As do I, Quinn. Fare well in your search. There we go. Later. Your skill at negotiations surprised me, Quinn. Boria seemed more than pleased with the agreement the two of you reached. I just gave him what he wanted. No big deal. Such dealings are difficult for my species. We find it much simpler to take what we want. Take what we want. Sometimes force will get you what you want. Other times finesse will accomplish the same end. With a lot less wear and tear on your hand. Perhaps my species could learn from yours. It's something I shall consider in the future. We are 100 kilometers from the next stasis box. I don't believe it will be wise to take the land any closer. What's the problem? The stasis box is located in what appears to be a large palace or castle on the map of Earth. Scanners indicate an unusually high number of large humanoids inhabiting the map of Earth, as well as many other smaller types of humanoid life forms, maybe like dogs or cats. It would seem the development of cultures on the ring world has not paralleled that of the same cultures in known space. Sorry to interrupt, but Hindmost is hailing us again. I'll bring up the image. You have by now had sufficient time to retrieve and investigate several of the stasis boxes, which my scans indicated are on the ring world. I will put up with no more of your falsehoods. You will tell me what you have found and omit no details. We retrieved three boxes, but we have no idea what they contain. Fools! You have yet to open any of the boxes! What have you been doing? Do you wish to remain on the ring world forever? Patience, Hamos. Since Seeker told you earlier of the difficulties we have encountered in simply retrieving the boxes. 
Opening them is another matter altogether. I demand that you determine the contents of the box. Stasis boxes, which I have guided you. When I contact you again, you will inform me of what you have discovered, or the consequences will be most severe. That was less than entertaining. I have no use for that creature, and we have more, no more time to waste. I fear the next stasis box will be difficult to obtain. You said that same with any other box. A covert reconnaissance of the area would seem in order. Wait. Before you go, I haven't had a chance to tell you that the last two stasis boxes contained. Well, you told Hymos we hadn't determined the contents of the boxes. Get serious, Quinn. You were the one who said we should be more careful. What would we tell Hymos? I don't trust him either. Anyway, it looks like our luck is improving. The stasis box we got out of the sunflower field contains a stasis control module. A stasis control module? You mean with the gizmo we can disable the stasis field surrounding that ship the canyon people are guarding? Exactly. We got ourselves a portable on and off switch for stasis fields. I used the box which you retrieved from the ocean to test the stasis control module. Unfortunately, the ocean box was empty. So who knows? Maybe even an empty stasis box will prove valuable. Now give me the stasis control module and, and empty stasis box. We might need them on the map of Earth. An excellent thought, Quinn. Now, we best get our flycicles and uh, see what surprises wait us on the map of Earth. Flycicle time! We're the Flasico boys and we roll around town. Woo! Flasicos! What's up? Flasico time. You there? What can you tell me as a, about the city to the west? We smash that down and beat this humble slave. No one's going to beat you. We just want some information. Please. Hang on, Seeker. This character is scared witless. Let's head for the city. Maybe we can get some answers there. Trees. Something's very wrong here. That guy was terrified. Perhaps I resemble a demon from some local superstition. Or possibly, but however, he seemed far too... Oh, we got company. A kissin. I'll greet him in his hero's tongue. No secret. Let me handle this. Lower your eyes, slave. You stand before Baron Ephar. Show proper respect or I shall tie it. Pardon, master. Our slave must speak for his master. Seek your vengeance, my master. Her throat is injured and he cannot speak. See that you show her proper respect of your life will be a short one. Our oh, master thanks you. If you plan to take a part in the festival of beings, you are too late. Oh, yes, that was the desire of this one's master. Thankfully, that disgusting groveling is over for another year. Well, my master's never attended and knows nothing of such shame. A disgusting telepath, like but a self-proclaimed patriarch. He built his own ego at our expense, and we bow him and scrape before him. Each year I swear that I will never again submit to that puny excuse for a kazin, but each year I return. Each time it is the same. All who seek to depose him by chance to a duel of honor are overwhelmed by an irrational desire to flee. It is truly disgraceful. My master wishes to know how one as lowly as a telepath could rise in such a high position of power. Some say that the silver crown is the source of this power, but I have never seen him wear anything other than a ridiculous headpiece of foreign origin. My master is fortunate to have heard your tale, Baron Ephraim. Yes, quite so. I must be off. May you soon be granted a name, Seeker of Vengeance. Pull ahead, slave. Telepath is a patriarch. Kazinti on the map of Earth? Could have only have come from the map of Kazin, but how? Perhaps they are the descendants of an expedition of conquest. The Kazinti on the map of Kazin could naturally seek to subdue other cultures on the ring world. But it would have taken generations in the fleet of ships to make the voyage. Generations, yes, but a single immense ship might have sufficed. More importantly, the god Gambit will be worthless here. He'll smell you for a liar and me for a meal. True. You better return to the flycicles. Uh, 
CK, you better get going. Maybe this guy will talk to me if you're not around. Remember, if you encounter any other Kazenti, be subservient and try to remain unconscious. Oh, wait. <laughs> you just to be sure you're close with the flycicles. This could get very nasty very quickly. Call, call as soon as you have the stasis box and I'll pick you up. You must succeed, Quinn. I'll get the job done. You can go in before someone else sees us. One more thing, Quinn. What is it? Good luck. Yeah, well, thanks. Okay. The text suddenly flies very fast in, like, in game chatting, apparently. Green skin slave is dressed in rags. What well, can you tell me about the city? Wash clothes only. No, nothing of importance. And then we'll harm you. I need some information. We'll try to answer. What well, can you tell me about the patriarch? A very bad. Call many slaves. Some killed with voices. Voices? What do you mean? Make voices in the head. Say do bad things. Very bad. What well, do you know about the silver crown? Keep in chambers. Hide from enemies. See once. How can I get into the palace? Dress a slave. Kazinti marshals no sea slaves. Good idea. Let's borrow these clothes. Must work. This one does not want beating for being lazy. Clothes. That's a box. Is that... What's this? Stasis for generous. Stasis box. Where'd you put your clothes, buddy? Use your clothes! I will manage. Better put these clothes on now before I run into any more Kazinti. There I am, a perfect looking slave. Scooby Doo on steroids. <laughs> Roro. You might lose a finger. Well, fuck you. No, okay. Are we just walking past it? Blow. Must have not lowered his eyes quickly enough. Look at the vista. Seeker, I'm going in. Be ready. Roger, Quinn. I hope you are wearing some sort of a disguise. Check, I'm dressed as a slave. Do your best to be convincing. Don't worry. Got no desire to end up at someone's lunch. Hello? Halt! Say your business, slave. Forgive me, hero. This poor slave is a present for the Patriarch from the Baron of Arm, and a token of the Baron's respect for the Patriarch, and I am his to use as he wishes. Enough! I'll take you to see the Overseer of Slaves. He will know what to do with you. Follow me. <laughs> cool painting. You'll find the Overseer in there. He will assign you your duties. Who are you, slave? And what are you doing here? I've not seen you before. Quentin, sir, a gift from the Patriarch from Baron Effar. Perfect. What would the festival and all we were running short of slaves? Running short? Yeah, Patriarch has no patience with slaves to displease him. I'll do my best not to displease him. See that you don't. To the dining hall with you. The Patriarch is there and you may begin serving him immediately.
I'm gonna busy clang clanging on this thing. There are deaths in this game and stuff, so... Saving is actually needed. Mo it's actually interesting. It's like most of the time this is just like an interactive movie. And then suddenly it goes like death, death, death. Yeah, my ally is also Kisinti. Yeah. Oh, I picked up something. Clean, dry, strong. You have all the straw you can need in the world. I've got all the straw that I want. What are you doing here? Parents are easily confused. Get to the dining room before I have you flogged. The tapestry depicts a scene from the conquest. Appears to be a likeness of the great fang god. Hey, Pyrozan. Good midday to you, too. Oh, look at this one. Typical example of Gazinti artwork. This place has a poor working environment. Yeah, would be. Hello. Playing in the water is a waste of time. <laughs> Carvings, decoration, fountains are surprisingly delicate. See no response. Sort of Kizinti urn. The guard, although immense, does not seem terribly dangerous. No response. Alright. I know where I belong, I guess. Halt, slave! You have no reason to enter the Patriarch's chamber. Be about your business. But. This back would be perfect to pick up. The Cassinti do seem to enjoy overdoing their architectural carvings. But, but, but. No use for that. So I can do things here. But that's when I get a pickup, I guess. No use for that. Maybe I can put a note. How can I make it so that he knows to pick me up here? Do I just put it on the ground? What does it say? You have no reason to put that in stasis. Ah, we can. That's why we have the empty stasis box. Hmm. It just looks like a wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah, Rooks, you know everything about everything. I am so surprised by you. I'm so amazed by you. That's the word. You are a proper nerd. No. <laughs> no, but it's awesome, really. Also, the base sparkle in sunlight. So I'm guessing we're just admiring the view of the balcony because we're going to get picked up there. But it seems like we can do something here. As like I would like to signal to him that we're going to get picked up here. How would I signal? I guess I use the telecommunic. Okay, there we go. Do you read me? Secret, this is Quinn. Respond. I hear you, Quinn. Have you found the stasis box? Not yet. You better find it quickly. You disguise will not fool for long. Roger. Quinn out. So I'll call him when I'm ready to go. Okay.
The puppeteers are the ones that show up on the hologram that demand our stuff. Buy me. Put them in stasis. Why are you showing me that? Be about your business. I'm showing you that because you can be put into stasis. Or I will shoot the shit out of you. I'm not showing him that. Here's some straw. <laughs> You might want to make him smile. The last thing you want to do is make a Kasinti smile. Can I not go backwards? So I, I meant to solve something with this guy. So putting into stasis, stasis field generator. It's just like showing him stuff. That's not. I'm 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 trying to shoot you. I'm trying to stop you. I'm trying to get you. To open it. Hello, faulty titties. Faulty titties? How is it? Faulty bitties. How you doing? Okay, are you coffee? Yep. Thank you for 269 faulty bitty titties. Appreciate it, pie. There must be something else. The key was just to that guy. That's done. Hey, man. No wonder the humans had trouble in the human Kazinti war when they were showing their guns to the enemy instead of shooting them. Like, what do you think of this? Ow. There is no leaving from where I came from, and I was supposed to go to the dining hall. I am a slave. Look. I'm just a messy little boy. What the fart? What is the fart? We were supposed to go to the dining hall. Hey, Apathy. I thought the first human colony was... We made it. It became a manufacturing hub, so goods would just have... We made it stamped on them. We made it! <laughs> uh. I thought... You have no use for that. You have no use for the outdoors, mate. All right, no use for the outdoors. Can't walk either. You got to exit. You got to talk to them again. Hello, hey, buddy. Hello, see you. Do you read me? You got the box, you dingers. Quinn out. No use for that. And it hasn't been buggy yet. Ah, you go there. Goodbye. You stop going there. I could pick up the straw. Can't pick up the straw anymore either, that's the thing. Straw has no effect. Straw has no effect. I 
I've shown him everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this clue was to not click on the stool in the before time. Private chambers is rather overdone. So sort of Kazinti urn. Does not seem terribly dangerous, but we don't want to shoot them either apparently because we don't want to use a gun appropriately. It's my stunner. I would like to use a stunner, but you just Should I use a stunner on the door? Stop showing him stuff! Use it on him! Yeah, but it's yeah, scuba! But scuba! Can go out again. <laughs> it's like they don't even exist anymore. They're just like... Man. Can we start to wind up 2023? What has been your favorite game to stream so far this year? Oh, I gotta go for a list, man. I don't know. But as, as we did last year, I'll do the same thing this year, most likely. So we'll have a New Year's stream, and I'll get my five best and my five worst experiences on stream. So that's going to be a New Year's segment. So we wrap up the year, and we talk about the fun times we had along the way. He holds like a specific thing. Is that like a hint to me? It's an example of artwork. What is he holding up? It looks like a torch, but it's a... I never played Ar Arcanum. I didn't get a straw! A straw has no effect! Some kind of big key. We have the key, but this is like for another thing. A key. So just give him a random key. But that's the key from the other guy. I mean, maybe we'll f we'll trick him for something, but why would... <laughs> Here, have your key. Because it's the artwork. What the actual flabbergobber? What the flaboblin? Yeah, I tried to clog the fountain already. I've already tried to use the straw in the fountain. It doesn't say that it just says straw has no effect.
clean, dry straw. Giving the cat belly rubs. I tried spanking the demon cheeks. No effect. No effect. No effect. I've basically tried showing him everything. But there's definitely something you can show. To this guy. Highly polished stones. Yeah, fuck the stones. The only effect stasis fields. Image of dining room. Yeah, that's exactly it. But the thing is, I'm stuck. I'm. I can't do anything here anymore. So as soon as I go to this screen. And this is the palace chambers. And this just goes out to the balcony. I can only exit and it goes that way. Balcony rating is very sturdy. Very good. Can I take something from this? Could be an exit button that's not showing up on Scum. I mean, there could be some sort of game mode like that. But the thing is, we already loaded and checked for another exit and there was nothing. There's no use for that. There's no use for that. There's no use for that. What if I specifically use the run? A laser pointer with the Kazinti. Let's distract the cat. I've tried pointing my gun at him, but he just... I For some reason, he's just decided to like show it to him instead of using it. Yeah, just like, <laughs> put the stasis box, open it up, it's like, oh, there's a box for the kitty. There's a box for the kitty cat. Well, Who's a good kitty cat? Can you mine? I've tried putting them over stuff, but this just happens. It just changes the item. Right and left click does the same. I can, I can, I haven't tried this one on them. What could it be, man? What could it be? What could it be? A stasis filled on and I picked it up. Oh, you fucked over Ringo again. Ringo doesn't work anymore. Oh, I, 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 I,
bop, bop, mm, bop, skinny up, bop. Oh. What have we, what are we, what are we, what are we done? Hey, Ian. I'm trying to up extend game. <laughs> Expand game. It worked! It is a bug! Whoa! Expand the game worked! What the fuck? Oh! There's like a tiny pixel! That's so rude! We could leave! What? Look at that! There was a teensy weensy pickle! So we can't leave it here. Can't leave there. Can't leave there. I can't. Oh, there it is! The small spook. Good, now we know that there's this is a possibility too. But that's just back to him though. What are you doing here? I'm easy confused. Get to the thing that you plug. That's good game design there, yeah. That's, that's some good pixelations right there. Oh, here it is. No, that was something... So that's in the middle, too. Okay, this game is all fucked up. So for some reason, now this entire down here is just him. Ta I love the tapestry. What, and that, okay, no. And now we have, like, this infinitesimal amount of triggers. I mean, it's very true. I get easily lost here. Yep, you do. This is the real Shivering Isles. The Shivering Villains. Felinias. Brace the pixels. Brace. 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 Oops, that's another monitor. Okay, we're good. So, I don't know. The thing is, the balcony is weird because that's just an exit thing, right?
I can't click myself out. I have to exit there. No, he just goes to the balcony. There's no exit on that side. at the bottom of the room before this one. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because this is not where we came from. The oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot. Yeah, this is where we went, Bon. I, I forgot completely. Sorry, my brain. Thanks. I was just like thinking blacksmith immediately. Um. All right, he seems happy. I can't do anything yet. Bring me more wine. You ignorant oaf. Now you look. Now look what you have done. Now forgive me, this clumsy monkey. I did not mean to spill the wine. This spilled wine is only a small annoyance. But the stench of your fear is an outrage. Ah, I killed you. Ah, this tuning is so in the blood of a coward. Ah, I'm naked now. Bring me more wine. Wow, what a... That's a hell of a leader right there. We have no losers in here, slave. Return to the dining chambers. I'm, I'm trying to bring him more wine. Excuse me, most honorable one. You speak to me, slave? Yes, hero. Allow me to fetch you a clean tunic. Yes, slave. Do that. And when you return, we will discuss your elevation to a higher station. Well, that didn't take long. Thank you, Master. I will comply with your wishes. Enough chatter, be gone. Just like, I had one second of servitude, and then he's like, mm, You should be, you should be uh, promoted. You were nice to me once, I remember that. A metal statue depicting Kizin dismembering some sort of large winged creature. A rug? A rug. A rug, a rug, a rug. Pretty big rug, though. I wonder who ordered this big, big rug. It would be ho horrible to manufacture. You know about clean clothes, I shall elevate you. The patriarch commands me to enter his chambers and fetch an unsoiled tunic. See? I have the soiled tunic right here. I have heard enough. You may enter, but make haste, human. The patriarch is not a patient kazin. Gaffer got out of control. Music is pumped to the max now. It's very... Uh, the balance is very off with the music, but... The wrought iron stand holds tallow candles. It doesn't look like pillows. You can't sleep now, you've got work to do. Hmm. I like this this leather jacket, this motorcycle jacket in the back. He likes this one. No, 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 no. I don't think that's what we're looking for. I mean, we can take everyone. Too many buttons. It would take the patriarch an hour to put it on. <laughs> Just stuff in our inventory. Close it this particular garment. You are asserted means is meant for a female kizin. Being part of the carving is solidly attached to the column. Okay, is the patriarch's favorite fragrance? Or the mackerel? Ugh. You would look ridiculous in that kind of a hand. Soft and probably very absorbent too. An ad. 
Sounds hollow. Sounds solid. Well, open it up, you fucker. Knock on wood. One of the main conclusions of the many Kizin battles and wars is that the Kizinti could win a lot more if they weren't so impatient. Yeah, they seem to be very in the moment. I'm assuming I don't need to bring all the clothes. And... This is the doidy one. This is the good looking one. Can I soil it? Somehow. I cannot take the bottle. That's the Patriarch's thingy. Look at my up close pixels. Don't blend in very well now, do I? Ah, time to find the leave box again. <laughs> yes. Leave. Yes. Yes! I'm lost in the closet! Oh my fucking god! Oh my sweet sucker! I mean, I'll just bring everything. Oh my god! And now I can leave because I need to give him his choice. Yeah, I need to get, I need to make him choose. Oh my god, he didn't want to live. I'm a fucking, 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 fucking. The pills feel strange. Probably stuff with a human here or something equal disgusting. I shall leave this place. Don't you worry about me. Where was it? That was here. There it is. Uh, sir? Excuse me, hero. Would this tunic be suitable? I can't say. Let me see another. Well, I didn't really show you anyone. Let me see another. The tunic fits the patriarch. Okay, well then. Let me see another. You've seen this, these. You have seen the suits. The three suits I could pick up. You have seen them. You fuck. <laughs> That's the female one. There's too many buttons. I have your suits. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Nothing. Nothing at all! The working, the horror of working in retail. I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want it. Just leave. Go home! Jesus, that pixel is so dirty. Practical to carry the table around with you. No, but the thing on the table. It's wine smell. What did they do with the corpse? 
I brought you three different ones. Bring me another one. Do you have more than these three? Fine, I'll look around for more. Fuck it. Get him. But I got that was the Koopa that way. Maybe we should have gotten something more from that room. That's why we're not doing anything yet. The blue thing on the table said rug. <laughs> no! Name in this. How the Dark Lord created Middle Earth. Oh, the wrong ring world, sorry. <laughs> now I can't re-enter. I'm just a void walking in. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just like passing through the scenery a little bit here. Don't mind me, I'm just checking the uh, checking the textures. They seem to be a bit smelly, but they work. Wash the dirty cloak. Oh, you're right. Maybe I should just wash the dirty one. A soil tuning doesn't do much. Imagine that, like, it's uh, bring him all the tunics and just wash the other one, like, ah, 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 that one looks great. Yeah, doesn't it? Doesn't it look great? Ah! This game's solving is so discord. Bistera scuba booba. Can I leave? Can I leave you? I want to leave this pixel. I know it's somewhere. I know it's somewhere. Where is it? There's a couple of pixels here. You know why I think it's worse? Because the Scum VM allows you for smooth movement of the mouse. In lower texture, you would be less. You'd have less pixels. Come on! Just yes! You have discovered the way to move! I know you know! I know you know! You must be joking! Let's refresh. <laughs> oh, I broke it! I have broke it! I have... They broke... I have broken it. it! The game has been broken! I see. Okay. Then let's go again. The game has not worked. Whoopsie daisies. Save game is corrupt. All right, we'll go again. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think I might have broke it when I went out of the bounds there. I don't know. That works. I guess we just have to find the hidden pixel again. There it is. 
Got it. Um, talk to the blacksmith instead. Wait, have I shown him the stuff now? I don't think I have. Yum, 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 yum. Suitable, can't stay. Let me see another. And that's the three we can pick up. So the kitchen area can see this maybe some sort of large winged creature. Okay, let's do a save on top of the other one, which is corrupted. <sighs> what could it be? Tunics of red herring, it could be. I don't know. I mean, the, there was the locks, right? The, the hollowed things. But he doesn't want to open them. I don't know why, but he doesn't want to open them. I'll take it on myself. This tuning fits the patriarch. But what about you and all this stuff? What about you? You could look lovely if you wanted to. 1996 Computer Game World declared Ringworld the fourth worst computer game. What? Fourteenth worst. Can't. It's not that bad. Can't be. I mean, I'm having a good, okay time. Tiny switch. It could be. Um, I think we're going back to the room because it could be that there's more tunics in there. I think I think we need to do more in that room. But is it locked? Is it broken if we go back there now? From this save? This is why you save often, kids. You don't want this to happen to Granny. Yeah, there are far worse games. But then again, if you look back at the 1990s world of game reviews, they were complete bullshit. If you ever had a magazine that did game reviews, there's like the certain employees that we review games, they were completely ass. They had no idea what they were doing. So it's not a surprise. I I can't re-enter from here. I think I might bug the game if I try. Yeah, as soon as I go back here, the game breaks. Alright, let's not do that. And but I I know the corrupt and da 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 Buys what it is, you know. It's, at least it's better. Face into the car. There's no sign of a latch or a handle. No sign of a latch or a handle. No sign of a latch or a handle. This guy is very sexy, though. The hanger is theft proof. So the hanger is theft proof. That's nice. So the clothes are, you can steal the clothes, but the hanger, you can't take the hanger. If you take the clove hanger, that's fucking, that's pure silver right there. The clothes you can take. Use for bath powder. They're absorbent. What do you mean by that? He's like, they're soft. Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. Probably very absorbent. I had this, this st straw. Remember the straw? 
What the fuck do we do with the straw? I can put the key. The key from the guy's... The, the guy... I mean, the, maybe the key works other places, but it's so weird. That we use the key from the guy in that one area over again. you put that Was some sort of bath powder? Maybe it's what Kazinti used to get the hair off their tongues. Jars, jars, closet shelf, poor taste in the hats. Well, we didn't do anything in his bedroom. The shoulder spike and stature is lighter color. Now this one? Oh, you might be right. Oh. Oh, man! Nice, Jesus. Oh, <gasps> swords. Fuck. Why the fuck do I got swords? Why would I... Oh, why the fuck do I take the swords, though? I have a stun gun. Why do I want the swords? Are we killing the cats slowly? I gotta remember that there's very like... This game has done this before. Where I use my typical, like I've interacted with the object. Right? I press the object, that doesn't do anything. But I forget that it's not really about the object, it's about like specific parts of the object. So when I just do this... That doesn't matter. It's because it was like a specific part attached to it that was weird. That's what I need to press. That happened earlier in the game as well. Bring a stun gun to a sword fight. How embarrassing. I got the sword. Okay. That's not exactly what I thought I was looking for. But I have the stun gun. What am I trying to slice? I'm going to challenge him to a duel. It's broken. It's broken in half. Why are you showing me this sword you stole? Oh, no reason. Wait, if the game breaks when I get... Oh, no. Wait. No, it only breaks when I go in here, right? You say hello again. Hey, now. Break lurk. Good to see you. about slicing the tapestry open? Take it to the blacksmith and reforge it.
No, not the hit, it's give him. <laughs> what is that thing? Is it anything? No. See, now every sort of pixel is suspicious now. It's sus to the max. Susamix. You and die. Why did I pick up the swords, man? I don't know, dude. Hey, bro, what the fuck, dude? Bro, bro, dude. They cut up the tunics and make a new one. I can't use them in the inventory though. <laughs> I'll make a new one. I'll make a better one. I'm making a better one. <laughs> when frustration builds, out comes jazz. You're right. That's what happens here. Cut up the curtains. I can make a better tunic. I can make a better tunic. I really don't know. What do you want to do with it? Why did I pick up two blades? I don't know. I don't know why I picked up two blades. Sir. But as soon as I try to go back... It's gonna get broken. I can't go back in there without breaking the game. This doesn't work anymore over there. The cushions on the bed. Yeah, the cushions on the bed. The slice open the cushions. All right, solve chat solving. Chat solving. Chat king. Chat king. Chat king. Chat king. Okay. Slice the cushions open. You remember correctly. I think there was something interactive with that. So. Slice the cushion, hitting the sword, no. What about this one? Did I hit the right pixel? They certainly look like pillows. Did I just miss it? It only doubled the blade. Nah, that was a good one though. That was a good, that was a good suggestion. Ah, oh, dang it. Firmly attached to the wall. I need to show the guarded tunic again to get to the back room. Oh, I see. Surprisingly cause. What about the wide right, right side? Can I go here? They're sword shaped. Oh, yeah. Put the swords. But there's four of them, though. Carved sword is very detailed. Maybe I need three swords, because I can't interact with this one. Let's see. It's just hitting it. It just wants to hit the Shimitar on it. Doody doody doot. Why do I got straw? Hide the blade with the towels. Use the wrong one, but it says this always the same thing though. It always says carving, like dulling the blade. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> I release the stasis field. That's the off switch. It's a strange looking headpiece, all right. No obvious function. We'll puzzle it out later. But only for this one. 
So what's this one? See, I hate thinking the shims are against that with only dull. I didn't want to hit it. So that was stupid because it was like, when I tried to do it, it says hitting it. I didn't want to hit it. So that's ex So then I know that, okay, obviously the character thinks it's going to hit this thing. So that's not going to work. They're just That's just stupid. That's just dumb. Because then it's just blind luck. Because everything we do, he says, I'm not going to hit it. Hit that thing. Would dull the blade. Would it dull the blade by hitting pillows? Yeah, the feedback was horrible there. Some type of helmet. Some type of helmet. 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 It's based on the book. Well, at least it's on the universe of the books. I know how much they deviate from books and what they make in this one. But it's, it's the same universe and stuff, yeah. Only this one instead of those three, huh? Oh, I wonder what it would have said. This could be fun. Let me try something. Let me try for something stupid. Just to see how bullshit we can get. What if we do this one? Because <laughs> that's like the carved sword is detailed. The carved sword is detailed. And then he says, fucking, no, hitting the sword against that would only dull the blade. Hitting against this would only dull the blade. And then you try to use the other one. Hitting the shimitar would only dull the blade. Hitting the shimitar would only dull the blade. Oh no, but wait! This one over there! Oh, that fucking yes! A perfect fucking fit! Sorry. This is what I wanted to play. This is what I want. This is why I wanted to play point and clicks today. I said like I, I said on Discord like I needed something. I needed to be passionate, and there's no other place than a game like an old point and click game to get me in this mood. It's nice to just be activated because when I played Oblivion, it's like it's just like. After the main quest, it's... But this is... this creates a lot. Can I push it back up? Carving has very sharp lines, it's deeply inset. That's because I fucking put the sword in there. That's... that's... we did that. That's why it's sharp. We had it in our inventory. That's our sword we've got. Carving of the Great Fang God, with eyes poking out. Alright, well, we got that. We did that. We did that. But pillows, if you don't, if you hit pillows with your sword chat, be crazy, be careful, because you might dull the blade. You might not know, but you will dull the blade if you hit your fucking sword in your pillow. The pillow will kill your blades! Be careful now, you want to use your blade against armor and you know, people with plate helmet! I never get past that big lug with this. Oh, because you have a helmet, okay. Better put the headpiece back until then. Okay. You need to deal with him first. Okay. The big lug. You know you have a stasis gun.
don't show him your gun. So to get in again, I have to do this. No. I can't. But now I can go back in. Okay. Um, that means we have nothing more with us. But it made a click noise, right? Click, 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 click. Maybe he'll take the suits now because we had a different trigger happen. The stuffing the fountain will work now? We'll see. Yeah, he might get distracted if we stuff the fountain with the straws. But the set of straws had no effect. But at this point, I'm starting to snuff out some bullshit. The game actually was pretty good up until now. How you doing, DC? The game was actually pretty good up until now, and now it's starting to like fall apart with both crashes and weird pixels and some solutions. So I think we might be stumbling into territory of the unknown here. Even the developers are like, uh, stage stage four, we never we never tried stage four. But you developed it! I know, but we never expected people to get here. We expect them to read the books. And again, uh, for the general solving, I like to do it myself. I preach when we're stuck in a while, when we're close to checking out the hint anyway. It's fun to solve it together with you guys. But in general, just so you know in the chat, like I'm going to do most of the work here. If I'm stuck for a long time, I might be like reading more of the chat and I'll and get you guys in on it. But in general, I'm trying to solve it. Just so you guys know. Hey, Sakurai, how you doing? Well, I'm not a backseat strong channel. It's just like, it's more fun if you guys watch me try to solve it for most of the people watching. Because if I would just sit here and everybody would just like say, Golem did it, Golem do it, Gurus kabap, Guri baba, people would not find them funny. And neither would I that much either. It's more when I get to the point where I'm fucking, I don't fucking know. And then it's fun. If people don't know either, that's fun to solve with them. That's fun. Okay, so big log is in the way here. I'll just show him stuff. Maybe I'll show him the new suits. What do you think about these suits? Be about your business. Can you do clicking next game? Nah, it's I will do the clicking. Maybe on Discord allow you to click some games at one point. But it's a big if. I'll call my friend and see if he has anything to say. Seeker, you read me. Hey, Quinn, Stasis Box, not yet. Better find it. Alright, nothing. Hey, if you all did it once, it'll make a, a big digital Ouija board, like figuring out what to do. Oh, he says this. Oh, no, but then he says that. Oh, no, where do we go from here? Nobody fucking knows. Can I open the box behind him? Now that I'm just escaping from there? No, he says no reason to open it up, right? There's no need to open it. Captain Big Lug. Captain Big Lug, tell me that it feels good. Captain Big Lug, does it feel good? Tell me, Captain Big Lug. Why, why am I? This is what we came here for. This is what we are here for. <laughs> Can't put it back. My mom said it's uh, my turn to do the clicking. Go tell your mom to go fuck herself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll start burning up the place. Maybe I'll... Yeah, I can burn the straws. Okay. 
That was unexpected. Mom, he's being mean again! No, I'm not. I didn't mean to. Map! Can I just put it in like... Can I just use the fucking... Use... Wrap it in the towel. We have like so many things on us. Wrap it in Tuvle. Doesn't have any effect. Use the bath salts. No, not the bath salts. The, the rubber tub. I'll tell you all about me. Oh, tell you. Twitch plays Ringworld. Very, very famous channel of Twitch plays Ringworld, yeah. It's a very strong channel. It's been going wild and viral. I better get that. Come up with some way to distract them. Better put the headpiece back. So let's just focus on trying to distract this big lug. Go off field. Pont and click. Pont and click. We're going to pont and click. Hey, Doomsday. I'm ready for the pont and click escapade. Duke de Pont. If we only found some cat food, some human flesh flay. This is one of the reasons why I like modern games having a highlight object feature. Yeah. It is fun. For streaming, it's, it's fun to do this wild stuff. Because uh, you can help, you can have people along the way that watches is like equally frustrated and just like you, sh the thing is sometimes frustration is more fun spent together. Right? If it's alone, then you're like, fuck this shit. Seems a bit heavy-handed. Heavy-handed Kazinti artwork. We have a dagger. How would we distract the guard? We can't even get the dingus to, to react to us anymore. What do we do with the other sword? Threaten the kitchen. Cut up the rug. Everything would dull the blade. I don't give a shit about the blade. Yeah, and when, they, when you know what you want to do, one of the worst things you can get stuck in in a point-and-click game is that when you you know what you want to do, and then you're, you've are you tried it so many times in so many different ways now, that at this point you know, okay, it's not going to be this solution. And then you put away the solution because you've tried to make the most logical thing happen that you thought was a solution, but it doesn't seem to work. But then you realize that you actually have the right idea. You had the right idea. But you just did it in an incorrect way. Like in a very backwards kind of a way. 
So then you will never think about that being the solution again. So that's why you get stuck in like this infinite loops of puzzling because the way you tried to apply it didn't work. Just like us with the dagger now, right? We use the other blade. It says it will only dull it. Everything ever pressed on will dull it. And then there's three statues that have the indent of the sword. So immediately I just scratched that off as a possibility because I just used the wrong sword for some reason on the carving. Even though there should be three carvings, so the logical solution should have been that we found another sword instead, maybe. But that seemed to be it after all. So, like, that sort of a deal sucks in these kind of games. When you... The game didn't correctly show... What's the word for that? Presents in a way, in the, in the correct way. There's another word for it. But it made you fuck. It made you fucked. These are just uninteractable now. They just are not existing, these guards. They're just there. Intuitive, yes. That's the word. Thank you. So it's fine. I tried to cut the tapestry. And that didn't work. And no cutting tapestry. Maybe making it a little dirty. You know, we need to distract the little guard. Who knows what to do with that? We picked up the straw for some reason, that could be doing, uh, but uh, not it's easily confused that the dining room will be fogged. Uh, and you want this uh, tunic, sir? And so the tunic wouldn't do too much to you when you would take the bullet in the face. Yeah, fucking ass stunner gun doesn't work, eh? Fuck you, okay? Alright, we go back indoors. And then we go over there and we sit a little put the, what about putting the sword in the mouth of these fang dinguses? I would only dull the blade. 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 We tried putting it on that porch as well. And no use for this picture. Work of Kazinti artwork. Heavy handed architectures heavy handed. Great Fang God's brother Earl. And Earl is different from this guy. This is uh, this is why is this Earl? We know why do we know this is Earl? We can do this. Can we play with Earl? Can't play with Earl. And so our hero slowly got used to working as a slave in the Kitty Palace. If you manage to actually move around. Narrator. Baldur's Gate 3 narrator. No duties in the kitchen. No duties in the kitchen. No duties in the kitchen. No duties, no duties, no duties in the kitchen. He ain't got no duty, but he's still playing gaming. Got the ring world on his, got the ring world up his ass. Ring world and did a scoop and bet with it, it did it. So he got ringworms up his ass. Got ringworms up his dingles. Ringworms up his dingles. It's just weird because of stuff with human here. That's why he's reacting to him. Can I put... No, but the sword is now stuck there. And it didn't work on the other ones. We tried. Simon the Sorcerer for sure was if one or two had me at one point trying everything with everything. It was a spot right after you lost all your inventory. You had only two screens to move around. And still nothing worked. The solution was to take Dog. Dog was blocking the way. Simon then magically transferred into fluffy shoes and put it in his inventory. That game is made... Simon the Sorcerer... Wait, that's Simon the Sorcerer. That's a Discworld. But yeah, Discworld as well is made to be the weirdest shit, though. So, maybe that... But that was Discworld. That I was thinking about. I uh, 
what a nanny of Maranan Scooby. Why you want them? Why you get a nanda? I'm not in the bag. Both are British games. And we all know British games suck. What about these candles? Follow Tallow candles. They animate, but I can't use straw. I can take a candle! I can take the candle itself! Yes! I did, okay. I took the candle! Can I take more? It's attached to the wall. Too heavy. This right candle worked! No, wait! It's too heavy to pick up. I got a candle! A tallow candle! Now, can I burn something? Progress, 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 burn! Lighting fires indiscriminately would undoubtedly draw attention to yourself. Isn't that what we're trying to do? But maybe not directly to me. Okay, so we should do it in a different place in the castle. I think we're on to something, chat. The other candle was made of lead. Which is why it sucked. Burn! Burn it. So what do we want to burn? We want to burn it in the place. Tapestry. The tapestry. We burn the tapestry. Leave. Please leave. The I heard Simon the Sorcerer 3D is fantastic. Do you not see? That if you kill him with the pill from the till by making with it the drug in the jug. You need not light the candle with the handle on the gateau from the chateau. New mixtape by Pi dropping soon. I'm not doing that. Okay. Huh. Is it a lit candle? Thank you for 100 bits. After decades of study, I have finally mastered ancient dog to slipper spell. The world will tremble before my mind. He's holding the candle. Is he? I thought we were going to burn something up. Maybe I show him the candle so he can become the king of the painting. Here you go. He doesn't care about the king of the candles. I thought we were supposed to light the fires. We got the candle. Should we light it in the bedroom? But that's, that's also going to be creating attention to ourselves. Just fucking leave. There you go. We have straw. We need to put the straw somewhere. It's dry. It's meant to burn fast. Where do we want to put the straw? We want to... Okay, this is this is probably what we're going to do. This is probably what we're going to do. We're going to put the straw somewhere. We're going to light the straw and burn up something. So we need to just find where we put the straw. The purple thing is like a wine stain. I've tried to interact with it, it doesn't really work. Light the key on fire. Oh, you tried. 
So I'm fucking, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm a little crazy. Stop talking to me. I, why do we pick the candle if we don't want to light the fire? Huh? Stuff it in this face. Uh, there's no way to get on top of each other. Get on top of each other. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> nah. Noisy golem. Yeah, you crow. Noisy. Noisy. It, it must be something related to straw. Straw and candle. I think maybe burn some shit. A straw, I don't know if I... Some people are trying to sleep. Shh, sorry. Can I put it back? Lighting fires will draw attention to yourselves. You put it on the... This already... You said not to draw attention to yourself. You saw... You said not to draw attention to yourself. And if, if the guard has to go in here, then of course you're going to get attention drawn to yourself, but... So, you put the straw on the bed, which is already made of fucking pillows. Well, yeah, that's, that's that, that's that, got it. There we go. There we go. And now we hide in the cupboard or something, but I don't know. He's going to be distracted now, because there's a burning fire, right? Hey, dude, there's a- there's a burn. What's that I smell? Smells like smoke! Smoke? Smoke! Ah! So we- we put the straw on the bed. We- we could just keep lighting it. That was- that made no sense. That made no sense. You have a candle, you can hold your fucking candle next to it until it- It told- it- it fuck- it, it's so weird. <laughs> Just hold the candle there! Until it starts burning properly! You have two more! You have a whole candelabra of fun you can play with, you have lots of cloves! I got the device. Come get me and make it quick. Well, do I shall bring the tricycles to the courtyard. Meet me there. Roger, coin out. Whoa! Hurry! <laughs> Tron cycles. No, it's flycycles. Okay. I don't know what conceivable good the helmet was retrieved could possibly be. It was considerable risk for little reward. We must attempt to determine exactly what the helmet does. Such knowledge may be useful in dealing with the puppeteer. You're learning, Seeker. I'll make a negotiator of you yet. 
Yeah, it's unlikely. I've been thinking, since we've recovered all the stasis boxes, we can go back to the canyon people and try to release the ship in stasis. We've got to tell Hindmost what we've discovered. It's the only way he'll leave us alone long enough to allow a thr thorough examination of the ship in stasis. I also believe the discovery of the stasis control module requires that we reveal to Hymos at least part of what we have discovered. Agreed. We've already wasted enough of what little time we have talking to Hymos. Speak of the devil, we're being hailed again. Well, I have reached the end of my patience. What have you recovered? Every minute we spend talking to you is a minute less to stop the destroyer. Leave us to our task, Leaf Eater. I think you'll be pleased, Hymos. We have found a stasis control module which we believe will allow us to access the stasis ship we found earlier. Hmm. A stasis control module but could be valuable. By all means, proceed with your investigation. I will contact you again very soon. Hopefully that'll keep Hindmost out of our hair for a while. Let's head back to the canyon. My guess is that the ship in stasis contains whatever technological marvel the puppeteers are really after. I shall set a return course immediately. This is the sexy tune. Greetings, Sky Gods. This one welcomes you back to the home of the people in the canyon. Return for the sky silver. The time of the revealing has come. The path to the sky silver is open to you. Game in time. This hull is composed of a material I've never seen. Very high radiation resistance and an incredibly tense sound strength. Maybe it's a slaver ship? It's not like any ship I've ever seen. It may be a Tenochtitlan, though. Looks like there was an explosion. Eh, it's not an internal explosion. Eh, it's battle damage. It does resemble some small craft I encountered during the Maldorian border wars. Rumor had it among the arm that those ships were based on ancient Tenochtitlan designs. I'm not certain what type of weapon caused the whole damage, but that seems incredibly powerful. The hatch is accessible. We must... We got gotta get inside the You have little effect on the hull. I have a sword. With the scimitar in hand, you fucking use the sword. Access panel. Bing. It's a puzzle piece. What a good password system. Cool. So we saw like these edges. So if we go like this and that, that edge over there as well. Those in sequence look great. 
Well, that could be on top or bottom. So I guess there's only up to these left. Um. So the star thing there. This would be at the end then, right? And then this is... Wait. No, that doesn't work. Not really. Because this is going to be cut short. I guess it might still... Yeah, that might still work, yeah. What? I can do the same thing again as well. Huh. Wait, this is not what I had. Hold on. What did I have? Or what did I have? I had like something. That, no. Alright. Alright, 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 I got it. Try to complete the circle in the middle though. What if we try that? So, let's say... We see this, we see the da 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 for these things, right? Let's try to have a middle thing. How can we do that? And then you have another piece of... That. That looks kind of nice. No. That's fucked up. <laughs> so that like stops this one now. Uh, <laughs> Seems so weird from that angle. Oh, it doesn't even fit there. Look at that. It's fucky. Nope. My my eyes. My eyes are lies. That's that's like that there. Okay, what works? This one. Oh, there you go. Nah, so alive in there. Yeah, yeah. What kind of creature is that? I'm not sure. Let's get him out and see if we can help him. That's nothing I've ever seen before. Maybe it is a Tenochtitlan. Shakta, Hestrak, Tisandurj, Antimatter, Concentrated. He's trying to say something. I just fucking did. Explosion. No time. Shakta, Disengage, Antimatter, Concentrated, Must Disengage. See what you can do for him. I better find the Antimatter Concentrator shit before it gets shut down. That was a cool noise. They removed the modules from their storage locations. You don't look at them at least. Are you okay? Six person disengaged. Okay, he's out of there. 
There's there they are. Interesting items from the Tanaktipan vessel. Could put them back, but no no good, no good. Okay. Could be more hatches. But again, I'm just... Golem Dupe ga Gaming. Golem Dupe Gaming. How's he doing? Can't get him stabilized. Our medkits just don't match his physiology. His neural wave patterns are extremely erratic. You must keep him alive until we have questioned him. The knowledge we possesses is invaluable. We have to save him. What can we do? We're not brain surgeons. Look at that head wound. A strigator girl. Dead engineers. Used to escape module. Transported to sister ship. Didn't disengage antimatter. Concentrator. Explosion imminent. We've got to stabilize his neural patterns. If those waves flatline, we'll lose him. Use the box. Keep him keep him in the box. Put him in stasis, no stasis. Well, Seeker, what should we do with him? He's hurt pretty bad, but he may have knowledge that will help us. We must attempt to keep him alive until we're able to extract any useful information. After that, makes no difference. That's what I like about you, Kazinti. You're so kind-hearted. Hey, trash cassettes. Come back when I'm not done. Oh, thank God. I can at least just stay here. Hmm. Metal with tensile strength beyond anything you can encounter before. That da 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 do did. Indicate the magnetic seal. Magnetic seal. Are intended for emergency use only. <laughs> Fucking god, why did we get his uniforms? <laughs> we got his uniforms with us to the outer space. To the outer space. To the outer space. We got the uniforms with us. Some type of helmet. I mean, um, we're stuck here. We can try more dialogue. Escape module. How much have I of the game left? Let me see. I need to take a break, but I want to kind of see if I can finish the game today. Uh, school, what's it called again? It's called Ring World Revenge of the Patriarch. Long play. I just want to see to the point where I am at. This one is three hours long. The guy that solved it. Oh, we're near the end. Cool. We're near the end, chat. Stay tuned. I won't take a break until we finish the game. I, I promise you now. So you won't need to worry about leaving. If you were worrying about leaving,
That's on you. And then when I said we're not leaving until we can have everything we can use out of the ship. Yeah, yeah, it's a magnetic seal. It's a magnetic seal. We have magnets. We have things. If you look at it, like, it appears to be some sort of maintenance cover. Try to pick it. The maintenance cover will not open. It apparently has a special latch. And what was the magnetic seal? That wasn't what we learned about earlier. It said magnetic seal earlier. Special latch. Ah, yeah, the our information thing. A magnetic seal. We know about the magnetic. Chat just got booped. Beep boop. Well, at least let's slap every item at the... Your standard cannot break the seal. What is this? What if we didn't pick up something? Nah, it must be fine. You receive no response. How interesting. Oh, you give him the helmet. Quickly! Antimatter concentrator must be secured. As easier said than done, the access panel won't open. Here's the magnetic key for the panel locks. I'm still too weak to use it. Hurry! So with the helmet... Fixed him a little bit. Appears to be part of the vessel's energy source. It's hanging loosely and it's mounting. It's reaching artificial stage. Too hot to handle with your own hands. You have the cloth, you can put it in the stasis box. <laughs> stasis box has contained the malfunctioning antimatter concentrator, allowing you to handle it safely. Antimatter concentrator has been put into stasis. We're safe now. As long as the stasis field remains intact, we should have no problems. If the stasis field fails, we'll never know what hit us. You serve me well, I must insist on your continued aid. I'll require the use of a starship. Well, ours is nearby. It's at your disposal. The others seem all too willing to comply with the wishes of the Tanuktipan. You notice a tingling sensation in your fingertips and suddenly have a tremendous ringing in your ears. Uh-oh. Is your ship equipped with a superluminal drive? Yeah, but it's a hyperdrive too. We have no means of time compression. Perhaps I can adapt Tanuktipan technology from my ship to your vessel and convert it to timeless superluminal drive. I'll show you which parts to take. 
Okay. Yes, of course, sir. You, you need our ship. <laughs> After the new driver is installed, you will remain here to guard my ship. Uh, as you wish, we shall gladly obey. Oh no, he screws over. Your fingertips still tingle and the ring in your ears is worse. The others seem to be under the control of the helmeted Tanuktipan. Oops. Bad end? Bad end. Bad end. We must care for him, Quinn. Do as he asks. Seems odd that a seeker would respond in this manner. To disturb me, I must attend to this creature's needs. Kick it! We have sword. Fuck him. Shoot. If you find yourself unwilling to harm the creature. Oh no! Come back, human. I have need of you. Try as you might, you just can't seem to leave. You seem reluctant to aid, human. Perhaps you need more persuasion. Thing gets stronger, the ring in your ears is worse. Oh no. Using the neural wave nullify, you regain control to Tanuktipan and remove the helmet from the creature. You two okay? Putting the helmet on this guy is dangerous. He had both of you agreeing to do anything he asked. We shouldn't let, let him die. Still the safest course. But the knowledge he possesses, can't we just put him back in stasis here? Could come back for him when he had the means to heal him and keep him under cover, under control. I say we leave him here in stasis. We certainly won't be going anywhere with the canyon people guarding him. Okay. Only if we have taken everything we can get out of this ship. The technology could be invaluable. And did we? Did we? <laughs> There's nothing more to see, so I would say that we are. We have this, you see, nothing. No, but this is the control to open the thing. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I guess so, right? How's he doing? No, this is the old one. <laughs> We got the old thing, but now we can leave. I guess we maybe can leave. Nope. We're not done. Why would you allow me to leave? Uh oh, why did you allow me to leave in the first place? Give him the helmet again. <laughs> Give it a while. Put the helmet back on. I got you. No, no. I put the helmet on. Stasis in case antimatter there's not something you should just leave laying around. I didn't intend to either. Uh. 
and contained in the stasis field. I'm so confused. We're like here, we're like there. I played Final Fantasy 3, yeah. 3 and 6. Didn't complete 3 them. Freedom! Freedom! Last name! Last neighbors! What are we missing out? That's just this thing. The wires dangle harmlessly. Not here. That's there. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Just a little bit, a little bit. The last little piece of buske. Come on. What did we missing out to the Come on. The little piece! The last piece of the fun! Why can we only interact with the wires here? <laughs> uh. You want the bosque! That's what we want! <laughs> That's what, yes! You know, you understand. You get no energy readings. Yeah, that's true. If we don't energy it. Energize. But it doesn't work. Energize, energize, energize. Because the tingling in your feelings. Tingling, tingling, stun the dangers. Damage what may be useful technology. But I can't take it. Hidden the shimmer targets that will dull the blade. Yeah. Tunic fits the patriarch. We patriarch. We don't give a shit about. There is not. What else? What else? What else? It's a third cable from them. The small access panel. Oh, wait. There. But we already opened up the panel, though. We don't need to close it again. But why is everything off center? See, like, a small access panel. See, nothing. This is the access panel. And then here, no wires, but the wires are down here. <laughs> so screw something's definitely wrong. Take the wires, take this. We take, we got the antistasis dingus. Just leave, we got these two. They're great. Mm. 
What is what? There must be something that makes sense there. But why can't I do it? And they're like, oh, we gotta do shit. Do we gotta put the helmet back on him? And go back to that stage again? Do we gotta go back to helmet stage? But we just make him strong and we can put him down again. But what's the point of that? Ah, oh, come on. It's like the end of the game. It's like the end of the game. It's the end of the game, and they're just like, take everything valuable from the ship. I am trying. I don't see anything when I see the wires dangling. Close by some other device. If it's the wires dangling, we can't use the dangling wires on top of that thing either. Are we, are we off an item? Are we off an item? What's going on here? I... Maybe the officer the control panel to the right of the wires. There might be another thing that just like misplaced too. But I, I try clicking everything. The wires there and then this control panel there. I can't find anything else. Everything is misaligned, yeah. Because these, like, if anything, the wires should be right to this one, but it's here. Ah, oh, man! The rest of the ship? If I press this, it will just go right back in here. So it only goes back in here. Like it's the same space, wherever you press the shim. You think the control panel you click to the left of the wires is actually the thing to the right. Oh! Like the other thing? But still though, it doesn't really matter because I only have two things I can click here. Unless they're in the middle of each other. I took this and I saved this stasis thing. Yeah, but Davado! It could be that they're all offset. So let's say, let's say that is this one, okay? So, main hatch is, goes there. Closed by some other device, but it's it's open now. So we've opened it. I think maybe it's just bugged. Because if it's this one... Yeah, I think, because this is open already. We fucked, this is... Wait, let's just retry this thing. I think we fucked it. I think we fucked it. And the game has been... Has soft luck before, so... So, now he has in the helmet stage. Nullify. But that was suddenly allowed to leave earlier, you know that? I don't know why. But that doesn't show the same thing either though. The main hatch. If we do this, it's say magnetic. 
the scanner reveals nothing out of the ordinary. So that's not even true. What? Okay, at least this one. Get him out there. Stuff like that. Now these are all fucked up again, so let's see here. Axis panel appears undamaged. Three slots in the bulkhead. Two of the three slots contain some sort of device. We know this one. Sparkling wires. No, they, they are in the same location. Yeah, so this is all normal, actually. So the wires never show up there. They show up over here. But we take these out. The modules from their storage locations. And... What did we do again to open this shit? I forgot. I forgot. What did I, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do to open it? It does go. It does go. This, no. What did I do? Metal mania. I forgot. Hey, chat! Help! I forgot! Oh, he gave me the key. That's true. So we're friendly. Then he gives me the key. A magnetic key device. If we take him out now, before we do the whole key thing... I think this is all busted. I think this is all busted. So, the thing is out. Stasis box. Contain it. Take this. Malfunctioning. To handle it safely. And then, we, then we're back to the same state. And I can't show him this... Stasis thing. Can I show him the stasis thing if he wake up again? The wishes of the Knut upon, yeah, yeah. Take your ship, blah, blah, blah. We gladly obey. Your fingertips are crap. No, he says, I'm unwilling. I seem reluctant. We can use this one. Key control, remove the helmets. Could put him back in stasis here. But it's it's already fucked up. I can't interact with the stasis thing anymore. <laughs> what did they do? I think we just have to see the actual ending here. I don't know if our game is bugged. I really don't know. Alien said he knew that you needed to take. Have him show you, then fuck him up. It's encased in stasis. It's got stasis. So I, but I can, can I take it out of the stasis thing? It's weird if it's a specific sequence. Well, the game just like at the end did it like a very sequence based thing with a soft lock at the very end. It doesn't seem, you know, the solution. Well, I'm, I'm also just figuring out already. Uh, I'm actually going to just let you wait. I'm going to do this on myself. I'm going to show you guys what to do here. Um, magnetic key. Okay. Okay. I think I know 
Well, I think we're sa we're at the same pace. We're at the same place we are. No use for that. I mean, come on! Stuff him back in the ship? And yeah, we stuff him back- oh. There you go. We have to pu push him back into the fucking ship. <laughs> the next vessel will serve to be of four interest, but we must attend to our primary goal. If we're going to- if we're going to destroy our attack on the puppeteer fleet of worlds, we better depart immediately. That's right. It'll take us seven days for us to reach the fleet of worlds, and we can't be certain that Chakra isn't wasting any time in this search. Miranda's right. Chakra can need only perform quadrant searches of the correct sector until he finds the fleet of worlds. And we are in agreement. We return to the lands and depart as soon as possible. Can attempt to come up with a plan once we're underway. We just push him back into the ship. It's like, fuck him! Get him back into the box! So do we keep our stasis thing? We're just like, fuck it, fuck it! <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> They'll deal with it! And we leave immediately. <laughs> and it wasn't pixel hunting, it was just a stupid resolution. Yup, yep, yup, yep, yep, yup, yep. Do we all agree that there is little hope of reasoning with Chakra? I defer to our resident expert on Kazinti. Seeker? Kazinti are seldom swayed by reason. Our only choice is force. And the deadlier, the better. Then we're off to the same mind. My plan is to use the antimatter concentrator to vaporize and destroy it. All we have to do is get it near their vessel and turn off the stasis field with the stasis control module. Perfect. The concentrator will fail within moments of the stasis field shutdown. The resulting explosion may do not vaporize the destroyer, but it will certainly cripple it. That still leaves us the problem with the delivery system. How do you propose to get the antimatter close enough to the destroyer? I'll maneuver the lander in close and blow the stasis box out of the airlock right in their faces. The portion of your scheme which remains unclear is how you plan to survive. Even if the destroyer does not smash the lander, you may be vaporized by the antimatter explosion. I have a hunch about the device removed from the Tenochtitlan ship. I'm willing to bet that my hunch is correct. Your card is to be admired, my friend. Because you are betting your life. Might I think you're crazy? It has to be a better idea. If you come up with a better idea, then let me know. Meanwhile, I'll be in the land preparing for our assault on the destroyer. We may be too late. The destroyer has already arrived. Stand back, Queen Asha. Move us into position. Seeker, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm all set here. Are we in position yet? Uh, nearly so. Prepare for immediate launch. I'll continue to monitor the destroyer's actions. Roger. And Seeker? Yeah, Quinn. Good hunting. Thank you, Quinn. Centurion Chakra! Yes, pal, Astro Gate, what is it? The Renegades have re-entered normal space and have launched a landing vessel. Its projected trajectory will intercept that of the destroyer. What are your orders? Maintain present speed and bearing. We will destroy with our main laser as soon as it comes into range. Yes, Centurion. Locking lasers now. Oops. The destroyers opened fire on the lander. 
Quinn better get out of there quickly. Quinn! Senses indicate that we are being targeted by the destroyer's main lasers. Prepare to opaque the hull. We've been thoroughly opaqued. Your untimely death preceded those of Seeker. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to do something? Your presence was required on the bridge. Restore. <laughs> I was supposed to do something. Kick him in there. Fuck it. Go back again. When was I supposed to do something? I guess all before I get shot. I don't know. I had a mouse pointer? I didn't see. Fuck. I was too invested in the dialogue. I didn't see the mouse pointer. I thought it was a cutscene myself. But we got to kick the thing into the ship again. Uh, sir, before you get shot, it's probably a good time to do something. Oh, I forgot my plan! <laughs> the story has arrived. Stand by, Quinn. Well and clear. Good and Thank you, Quinn. Do, 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 do. The music's pretty damn epic, though. Oh, there's the pointer. Was I supposed to do? I mean, I can't control them from there, can I? Maybe I can. Use the scimitar to destroy him. Oh, there it is. I guess. No. It worked once? Maybe that's part one of the sequence. Why? Oh, I'm here. Quinn, but how? I'll explain later. <laughs> we did it. Possible that I under underestimate the force of an antimatter explosion. We're being hailed by the fleet of worlds. The signal is extremely strong. Let me guess. What do you fools think you are doing? Your prototonic next uh, display has caused most of our populace to go catatonic with fright. We were saving your world, you brainless leaf eater. Your efforts on our behalf are hardly necessary. Our world was never in any danger except from your recklessness. You're telling us that we risked our lives for no reason? That is correct. Now, there is a matter of the items you found on the ring world. You will prepare all of the items for transfer to the shuttle which will arrive. Not so fast, I'm most. After all we went through to get this stuff, what makes you think we'll want to part with it? Why should we continue to help you? Quinn is right. Why should we turn anything over to you? We're through being manipulated. But... But nothing. You have no more cards to play. We're finished with you. I, for one, have had a belly full of these cowards. Prepare for immediate departure. Now, do not be so hasty. Hasty? Us? Never. Miranda cut him off. I plotted the course back to the ring world. Are there any objections? 
I've done. In fact, I would welcome the chance to examine the Tenochtitlan craft more closely. Quinn? Suits me just fine. I can't think of a better place for three fugitives to hide out while things settle down than Ringworld. Besides, there is the matter of Louis Wu and Chimi to consider. I ain't not forgotten, Quinn. Then we'll agreed. Ringworld it is, then. Prepare for jump to hyperspace. Hindmost? Yes, Dalmas. Shall I have benefit conclude local hyperspace? No, we know where they are going. We know where they will be. As you wish, Hindmost. Finem respice, Dalmas. <sighs> Finem respice. The spice shall spice. The crew in alphabetical order. We win! And this. Push, we gotta push him in again! Re spice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely good. Time for the sequel. There is a sequel, yeah. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Good. That was fun. That was almost the perfect experience for me. That was the perfect experience for me because it was... First of all, it was... And it was story driven and very little interaction. And then it got a little bit more interactive and it wasn't as weird in the beginning. It seemed more put together. Then we got to be able to get to a weird scenario and some crashing and some bugs and things where everything went wrong. And that was fun because we got very agitatedly passionate. And, uh, but yeah, it, it was nice. I think it was pretty fun of an experience. I won't say it's like a, as a game on its own. It's pretty good, I'd say, with the story and the characters. are pretty fun. It's 1992, which is pretty well made for 1992. So, uh, I, I'd say it's pretty good. It's unfortunate that it's not, like, properly bug fixed. Because there was some, you know, the, the one pixel we could use to get out of that place. And also being able to get ourselves out of bounds so we couldn't do anything anymore, and then the save game crashes. And then the odd solutions about like having to put the straw on the bed to put the place on fire. We might we have candles, we can easily put the bed on fire. And our note to self was like, I shouldn't draw attention to myself. And then the dagger in the sword carving, which are three sword carvings and all the wrong feedback information. So that kind of fell apart in the castle area, at least. Agitated passion is what we aim for. I love... That's why I want... The, like... I would have to say... I went... Yesterday, I was like... I, You know what I want soon? I want something... I want a point-and-click game. And I'm just an old one. So I can, like, get into it and just try to solve things and get... Potentially pissed off by some weird solutions. But I got exactly what I wanted. I got exactly what I wanted. Ed? Yes, Bob? Everybody's gone by now. Go ahead and turn on the lights and get started cleaning up. Okay, Bob. If you need me, I'll be out front selling tickets for the next show. Thanks, Bob. That Bob, what a guy. Quick. Do you want to quit playing this game? And indeed he did. He did. I'm not done yet, chat. I'm not done yet, but uh, the DOS is over. Remember yesterday we did a uh, segment on Elder Scrolls Online. I am sponsored and I will be doing that now as well. So I'm happy to do that. We're going to do some more Endless Archive. If you are here just for the uh, DOS and the retro, thank you so much for watching today. We will, as I said, we will continue. But if you are not inclined to watch anymore, I understand that you will leave, but just so you know, thank you. Please remember to follow hey, the channel. Hey, the... Give the links a shot. We were playing the 44th... <laughs> no, not the 34th next. But yeah, 
Well, I'll be doing a short break. I'm setting up the next part of the stream with the Elder Scrolls Online. So if you want to hang out for that, I do appreciate that. Every kind of sponsored stream as well, if you hang out, I do appreciate because that means more money for the stream and also less begging on you guys. Okay, I'll be back in a short few. This was a great, fantastic game. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm, okay, all, 7.8 out of 10 as an experience of a retro game. I think it was pretty good. Okay, I'll see you in the moments. Love yous. Clips and stuff are coming your way.